Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday Night Throwdown brought to you with the Armchair Dragoons. It is a pleasure to be amongst you. Good night. Hey, good evening, Valker. Good evening. How you doing? I'm a little tired. I did things today. You did. You got outside and did things. Bike rides and sit-up challenges and helping mother carry heavy boxes around the house. All sorts of manly things. Well done. Thank you. That's, uh... Tonight, though, he is still with us, still po uh, powered up, unlike Dalinor, who we are definitely calling out for not getting a hold of us. Dalinor, who is going to be met with utter derision by us, is not here, even though he should be. We hope he's well, I'm presuming he's working. But he cannot be here for our LaSalle 2 Club game. Hey, Mike, we are... Uh, we are get, we've been talking about doing this for a long time. Uh, it is one of the versions of LaSalle that Sam Mustafa postulates in the back of his wonderful rule book, LaSalle 2, uh, that intends to bring a bunch... And his idea, because obviously he works largely in the world of physical minis, is bringing a bunch of guys together with whatever armies they have, letting them throw them on the table and hurl them at each other and have a nice night. Well, that's what we did, except I built these guys, and uh, I made them 54 millimeter uh, because I realized I wanted to have really big toy soldiers. And, of course, I wanted to have it in the 1809 campaign, which is one of my favorite Napoleonic campaigns, if not my very favorite. And we decided to invite all these six people who would have included Dalinor, but Dalinor isn't here. So we're going to have to figure out how his command goes one way or the other. But we do have, representing the French, not only the aforesaid Valker, but Achilles, fresh from a victory, at least it was said, or certainly a bloody draw, last night in Shaco. How are you? Well, thank you, sir. All right. And over on the other side, we have in the center, the chronologist. And to his left and his right, we have Joe, just Joe. And we have to his right, Mike, OJ's dad. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. It is a pleasure to have you with us. Now, as I said, these bases, uh, LaSalle is a game of base widths. And these base widths are double-sized because these are 54 millimeter figures. So these are not two-inch base widths. They are four inches big. One of the things you can do in Tabletop Simulator is set it, and has taught me this, thank you, has, has it pointed out you set it to a grid. And so you can measure... Because I've set the grid to the four inch base widths, if you use the grid measurement rather than inches, it'll actually measure it in base widths. Which is how LaSalle thinks anyway. So that's how I've got it set. Um, this, as we said, is the club game. What does that mean? Well, uh, we all, we're going to help. Hey, John, good to see you. We're going to uh, go through. We, the only person here who hasn't had a lot of experience is Joe. Uh, we're going to talk about the club game and help Joe along the way with some of the rules, which actually are pretty intuitive once we get rolling with them. We're supposed to divide the uh, game in half, which we've done. Big old table. We have over on the right side, as I look at them, we have the Austrians. And on the left, we have the French. Now, you'd say all the Austrians, right? Well, no, because we also have the famed 1809 British Expeditionary Force, which has made its way to Bavaria. Huzzah. And that'll be commanded by Joe. We've divided it into halves, and now we have also divided it into zones. Each of you sort of has a zone, and I, I think you could pretty well see where it is. You're going to be setting up in your zone. Uh, if you have any questions, I can point it out more explicitly. But uh, it also would, you know, you could also figure it out if you divided the table in thirds. Um, so you're going to want to know where, the, you know, just sort of think about your space that way, because you're going to deploy into those zones. The next thing is, um, we have a, uh, we've divided the sides into, again, two teams. Uh, they're described as red and blue. Not exactly subtle. I kind of like it. It's kind of classic. Um, the red players will each set up in a portion of their zones, and then the blue players will set up in theirs. I just want to check something here. Yes. Yes, that's what I thought. The red players who are going to be... Shoot, where's it go? That's what I wanted. All right. The red player are our dear friends, the Austrians. Uh, for, want of a, for want of a better phrase, they are regarded as the defenders. 
Each red player should place an objective somewhere in his zone. It should not be within four base widths of a table edge. It may not be an impassable terrain, nor may it be within four base widths of any other objective or the baggage. Each one is going to be worth one point. Do we have these? Why, yes, we do. There they are. Everybody grab one, please, all the Austrian players. I'm going to say Austrians for general. You're just stuck being an Austrian ally, Jim. Um, Fine with me. So you're going to place a, uh, you're going to place that objective somewhere in your zone. Uh, how far, how far does our zone extend from the back of the board? That's the one thing I was, that, that actually is what was stalling me out because he's got it depicted. I can't believe he doesn't have it as a measurement. Let me see. Which scenario was it? It's not a scenario. It's the, it's no, the, it's, it's the, bi it's, it's the special thing on page 117. Page. Yeah. 117 at the bottom. It's like about half the board. Yeah, I think that's oh, there what, it is. what it looks yeah, like it to looks me. Like, it looks like half the board. We'll yeah. go with that. Easy. Yeah, I think I think that's the, the most logical. Okay. That's about... It's going to be 14. 14 yep. base widths. I am perfectly fine then. It seems like a logical objective, so that's where I'm putting it. <laughs> On the top of a hill. Look at that. In, in a village, even. <laughs> in a village. And by the way, you notice what village you put it in. Velkerheim. It's in Velkerheim. Oh. <laughs> those are some pretty logical. I, I would actually agree with you, Crandall, that those are some good objectives. Um, the CNC will then place one baggage icon for his side in his setup area. Um. Uh. I basically put it where it's going to be, I guess. Cause... <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a that's a pretty darn logical place. Uh, Joe, in case you don't know, the baggage doesn't move. I'm going to check one thing. It can't ever be captured. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we don't have a has. I was going to... Hey, Kurt, good to see you. Uh, all right. Well, Achilles, you want to take mm -hmm. over the you want to take over the big role too? I guess so. All right. Well, now you have to place the baggage in this central zone. Um, it's, uh, you know, obviously can't be an impassable terrain. It's all the same sort of stuff as the objective, and it is on the baseline. That is the thing that you must absolutely protect at all costs. Seems like a logical place for it right there. I think so, too. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know as we need to make this overly complex, but I do always, as is tradition, lock the baggage. This table is gigantic. It's going to take me a while to wander around it. No two ways about it. Mm -hmm. I have a quick question about the hills. Yes. They're sort of low, but do they, are they going to be blocking line of sight? Yes, they block line of All sight. All right. Got it. I, I, the way I view Sam's rules, and I think that's a great question, I, I don't know why you have a hill if it doesn't. You're right. I just wanted to make sure because yep. they're not, they're not like very large. They're not. They don't actually stick up that high from the uh, yeah, terrain. Well, cons so. well, considering I have 54 millimeter figs, you start to get to that thing where the hill looks like, you know, an, alpine, an alpine pass. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is in Italy. This is... Yeah, I know. This is, it starts to look a little absurd. Um, we did that. Yes, we did that. We're fine. Uh, each player is going to calculate his own mo for the turn. As long as your whole side has baggage, you get that two mo. Okay, so we do that. Each side has a single skirmish screen. The CNC will place the voltageurs. We have our voltage or our skirmishers. Sorry, I my we my, have bi my bias <laughs> my bias is showing. I'm sorry. Each player makes his own intervention. We only have the standard intervention interventions in this game which are of course the ability to influence the mo dice and the ability to change to make an emergency formation change for everybody within eight eight base widths um so so that is there you should place your marker within your zone on the table its radius can extend beyond the zone it only affects your units not a surprise the cnc may speak with his players and give them orders they're not obligated to obey an interruption is possible when an enemy player takes an action that triggers it, but only the CNC decides whether your side will interrupt. 
When your side is active, each player issues an order and acts upon it. The players of one side issue one order each. This is called a round. Players doing the same thing carry them out simultaneously. So let's say uh, OJ and Crano want to volley. They will do their volleys together. The order is determined by the CNC. If the entire round, however, gets played, everybody gets a chance to do their thing. After that only, the other CNC gets to decide if they want to interrupt. So, for example, if we both volley and then Joe decides to move, but we do our volley first, Joe will still get his movement and then the enemy will have their chance to interrupt. That is correct. Great. If multiple players are shooting simultaneously, we must make sure that all hits are done before we check the rolls to disrupt. There's a chance you both could be shooting at the same people. We don't know. Your orders pertain only to your units. If it's a global order, it's to all your units, wherever they are on the table. A player may pass in one round, but issue an order in a later round. So you can pass in one round, but then let it go. Maybe somebody else goes. It's only if everybody passes do we declare it a pass. This will go 10 turns, and sudden death victory is one third of all units applied to the entire side. It's not individuals, it's the whole side. And now I forgot to scroll all the way back up here to the most important and the simplest things, I guess. Uh, that's what I wanted, yes. Yeah, it's half and one quarter. Found it. Ooh. All right. Defenders, you sit up first. Do your thing. You have half the table. Is this uh, water feature fordable? It is. All wa that water feature is fordable. This water feature is not. Who this big one here in the middle with the bridge? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Good to know. Wait, I gotta check. I may have lied. <laughs> I made specific notes about this. Well, don't lie. It's I know lie, lies are horrible. I should never do them. That's you too, OJ. What's that? You're setting up. Yep. You don't know if you're talking to each other or what all. Not yet. Where are we? Hi. <laughs> to you. I can't see the chat. You tell me. Well, I mean, if anybody's got any thoughts, it probably is the right time to mm -hmm. talk about see. it. Yes, both of these are affordable. They count as interruptions. As uh, for LaSalle, mm -hmm. rules clarification on terrain for LaSalle, too. Yep. Uh, woods, uh, forested areas, mm -hmm. count additional momentum, right? Yes. For moving? Yes. Uh, is, is that include cavalry, or is it impassable to cavalry? Why don't I know that offhand? I know what the Cavalry... Shack Cavalry can move through woods. They cannot charge. Charge through, through woods. Wood. That's it. Yep. Okay. And uh, town or built up sectors. Um, garrisoning them is no problem for infantry. Are, I'm, I'm assuming they're impassable to cavalry. 
I think they can move through them, but they can't attack into them. But I'm right. double check. Yeah, that's the that's Sam's whole thing. It's just although in this game he allows you to shoot into them, which is rather unusual for him. Um, yeah, cavalry can move through w through them. They count as difficult difficult terrain for purposes of momentum, but they cannot charge through or into uh, woods, towns, or marshes. There you go. Okay. No portion of their charge move or forty five degree rotation may pass through any portion of these terrain types. Okay. They ha they may, however, charge defenders that are partly in woods, town, or marsh, as long as at the moment of contact between them, neither the cavalry nor the portion of the target in unit it contacts is in the terrain type. So, what's uh musket range? Uh, four That's bases. Stable. Yeah, and remember, there's like in a there's like a zone of control of four base with base mm -hmm. yeah. also. Zoc is, Zoc is basically uh, your your uh, musket range. So. Except, unlike in Shaco, it radiates from your entire person. Yes, it's a, it's a radius, which, rather than a. Uh, it's not just a frontal zone. Hey, Joe, uh, you're, yeah. you're speaking to everybody. Oh, am I? You just chatted to everybody. Yay, knowledge. <laughs> ah, I'm on team. Did I? Did there's I? A different, there's a different. There's a there's a different uh, tab. Team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Hey, Amelia. I mean, there he is. Right. Hey, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right hey, here. has how do you feel about playing LaSalle tonight? Dallin or ditched us. <laughs> You can get right up to here, basically. So yeah, I'm yeah. Has get in here. You might as well start up front and then first turn and get some units in there. To, that's what you can worried. be Napoleon. Has <laughs> you, you know? I am want slightly to... worried about this wood splitting our line of <laughs> communication, but there's yeah. also this difficult terrain. It's gonna be hard for them to swing through here. So mm -hmm. I I agree. I uh, thinking about maybe. Maybe that. Yeah. Okay. Let me see where I can go to over here. about right there all right Why are you throwing figs, OJ? Yeah, they got stuck to the uh, objective marker. They're mm -hmm. all stuck together. Didn't realize that hadn't been locked down. I was thinking it had. You want me to lock your objectives? I can do that. Yeah, uh, I had it back here further, though. Now he tells me. Wait about. They sound like Legos when you drop them. <laughs> they do, you're right. Answer me, Has. Uh, LaSalle, can you shoot over towns? No, nope. You cannot shoot over towns. Okay. You can shoot into them for up to two base lists, and after that, Okay, gotcha. Basically, all obscuring ta terrain is you can shoot into it for up to two base west, and then you can't shoot through it anymore. So, all right. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. There we go. My OCD is so much worse on tabletop <laughs> simulator than it is on anything else. Do I have my lift up? No. Weird. Okay. 
Uh, what are we going to do? With? No, I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> Suddenly just he's thinking. got hundreds and hundreds of toys and he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I do that too, Joe. <laughs> Tend to think out loud. Yeah, it's always been a habit of mine. Are you Press all set, level. OJ, over there? Crazy. I think so. All right. You've got uh, one quarter of the depth, French people. So la, la, la. we figured this was 28. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. You've got seven base depths, or if you wanted to do it that way, 28 inches. Base width or base depth? Base widths. You've got seven base widths if you're set to grid. How do I set myself to grid? You go to your ruler. And where it says inches, click it once, it'll go to centimeters, and click it again, it'll go to grid. And it will then respect the grid. Mm -hmm. So it's just about the end of the, the other side of the road. It's about the middle of the road. Yeah. Message for you, Velker. Message for you, what's that? And you said seven, seven, seven base width? So you have basically the road. Okay. You still figuring your stuff out? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm almost come to a decision here. So, so yeah, you want to ask Achilles? What? You can, set, you might as well start setting up. Yeah. Yeah. OJ's done. OJ's done. He's fast. He's a he's a practical Midwesterner. Sounds good. Sounds good, Velker. Probably got the smallest wharf on the table, so it doesn't take quite as long. I don't think you, you do. have a lot. No, yours is bigger than Velker's. Count on it. Well, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, but seven. Nine. Remember, Velker's got a fifteen percent bonus. Oh, that's true. I forget. Uh, let me turn my skirmish numbers down because these guys are in a town. Yep, let me, if you got that, let me, uh, I've also, please adjust the magic Sean Connery wheels of joy. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I've got 20. them, I've got them totaled on the counters on Sean. Okay. So I I'm only, down to I only need you to reflect, it, and I also put them on your counters. I only need you to reflect deductions. Okay. I just deducted myself to, um, and I'll need to do another two for those guys in the town. And remember, Velker, when these guys, it's an either or. Oh, that's right. Please, of course. I was, I was looking at. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, units can interpenetrate, right? Yep. Yes. It's it is, however, it's a complication. It costs you more. Okay. Can cavalry go in forests? Okay. It can go into forests. No part of a charge may be through a forest. You basically cannot fight in forests. Right. And also will cost you more, so. Won't be there for long, is it? <laughs> yes. You okay? I'm thinking. <laughs> uh oh. Achilles thinking aloud again. Yeah. That's dangerous. 
<laughs> if only you knew how dangerous that really is. <laughs> <clears throat> He's got these attached. And remember, same thing for you, Achilles. These guns are either or. Either or. If they're or limbered, they're like it. this. If they're unlimbered, they're like that. Yeah. You have to take away the limber and turn them around for them to be unlimbered, right? Correct. Well, and you also, this, this, you don't have this out on the field. If that's, if your gun is limbered, this is off table. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry. No problem. <clears throat> it looks so nice. I, I just it does. It is very out. sporty, isn't it? <laughs> no wonder it was taking up so much room, though. <laughs> well, on a scale basis, too, it's already huge. As it should yeah, be. Yeah, I mean, batteries are very, very long yeah. when they're moving. <laughs> Four realsies. Now, artillery cannot go through the woods, right? Yes, it can. Just a complication. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. I don't, never mind. Oh, crap. I hate when that happens. Hooray, big table filled with figures. It brings me childish glee. <laughs> so how much does a 54 millimeter fig cost <laughs> uh, it, it, okay are you buying it and painting it yourself or are you buying it and having somebody else paint it what you doing it's just the same we're going to go unpainted oh, there are yeah. some pre-painted ones out there you're probably good yeah the pre-paints though tend to be art figs for want of a better phrase Yeah, your, true. your 54 millimeter soldier paints are going to be typically plastics so they're actually not ghastly expensive unpainted you're probably looking at depending on the quality about a buck and a quarter each could be worse <laughs> need, need a heavily reinforced table if they were lead well 54 millimeter lead is quite common actually that's yeah. what that's what those uh prince august minis are those suckers that's six bucks a fig H.C. Wells played with. <laughs> well, he he played predominantly with Britons. Yes. And that that's a whole other thing. I remember, you know, <laughs> I, I made my beloved take me to Hadley's in London because I well I like toy stores, but I went to their Britain section and I was like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Came away I think with one fig. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. Uh, I was there was a Kickstarter. That's too far. There was a Kickstarter where I got two Viking figures from them. So, that was very nice. So, come now, you goof. We miss you. <laughs> Delanor's in the chat. Well, what's he doing? Get in here. Tell him he better hurry. I'm almost set up all of his troops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Once he once he finishes, you can't take it back. <laughs> yeah. No takesy backsies. <laughs> He's gonna totally freak out where I've got him. No Napoleonic <laughs> takesy backsies. Which, which is why he may not come in. <laughs> he doesn't want to freak out. <laughs> you did what? <clears throat> what have you done with my beautiful army? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. All right. I think I'm done. Yeah. Velker, you're good. Yep. Achilles, almost. Right. Hey, Velker, you know how do you get out of all that hard work for your mom? What? You know how you get out of that all that hard work for your mom? Uh, yeah. Be in school. Yeah, go back, back to school. school. <laughs> Summer school. Yeah. I gotta study, mom. Sorry, Sorry. mom. Gotta go to school. All right. <laughs> Words I never heard from my son. I gotta study. <laughs> my soldier. There he is. Yeah, thank Ray. you. Hey, Hello, Hello, 
I had an insane plan, and I've already set your people on the board. Get in here and fix this. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has budged, so you may proceed. Dalinor. Love cavalry. Brant has been pointing out that perhaps the reason for the uh, British expeditionary force is they are on a quest for the best Bratkartoffeln in Bavaria. Sure. <laughs> it's it's as good as excuse as any. Yeah, I and I well, you know, who's to blame them for that? Surely not I. No, I uh there was a interesting discussion uh Rex Bryan and the Pax Sims guys started online today about whether uh, what would we say, hobby board games, or whether hobby board games are significantly ahead of war games, con sims, in terms of innovation. And I said, you know, I, I certainly respect what the hobby market has done, but if you look at what mini gamers have done in the last 20 to 30 years, it's pretty amazing. In terms of coming up from column, line, and square, and some of these classics like Empire, to games like this. I mean, it's pretty innovative stuff. Much better games. I'm here to tell you. Uh, Dalinor, it looks like y'all are Team Diamonds. Oh, lovely. Okay. Give me a sec. I got uh, I got to do something. All right. Rewatch the Duelists the other night. What was that now? Rewatch the Duelists the other night. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, uh, a friend I have of mine had never seen it. <laughs> oh, really? I, yeah. uh, one of the guys who fight trained me at the Bristol Renaissance Fair was the guy who did that fight choreography. Oh, beautiful. Man's a god. <laughs> Man's a freaking god. He's the same guy who did the fight choreography for the Three Musketeers. It's a gorgeous movie. <laughs> uh, well, it's honestly, if you want, you know, look, uh, we all know, we all know how much I love Waterloo. But if you want to know what in my head the Napoleonic Wars looked like, it's the duelists. Harvey Keitel is every jerkwad hussar who ever lived. <laughs> in every movie that he's in. Yeah, he, well, first of all, he's, he's, he's something of a deity to me as an actor. Um, he's just, well, he's great is what he is. Him and Steiger are two of the people I always looked up to. Um, but the costume and the fight choreography and you know, you almost got to watch the movie twice just to figure out what he's mad about. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty, I don't think Keith Carradine's character knew either. <laughs> no, to the, yeah, I think certainly by the time you get around to the middle of the movie, when they're in Russia, you're like, what are we fighting about again? <laughs> you know, and, and it's just, but also just those, the way they depict those cities in Germany during the 1807 and 1809 campaigns. Yeah. Oh, oh, so glorious. But then they also did. the way that the way that they depict the politics of the hundred days. Yeah, it's interesting because I know I've read the original short story that it's based on. Mm -hmm. And the well, interesting difference in the movie compared to the story is that uh, Caradine's character wants to go and rejoin the army, but his leg is still too be too bum. Is that right? And I've I never think read so, it. Yeah. I, I know it's based in part on a true story. It's based in part on a true story, and the film itself is based on a short story that was based on the true story. So. Got, it. <laughs> Got it. I have a book with it, the story in, in it around here somewhere. So. Dallin, but do, yeah. I see, do I see your hand yeah. moving around? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking to see what disaster, I mean, what uh, Achilles did. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I gave you Jean Lan right there because I'm cause good that way. Nice. Yeah, make sure you uh, to read the team chat, Ron, to see what my original insane plan was so that you can change it. You may not be able to see it. I'm not going to be able to see it because I just joined in. So. Oh, well, never mind. Just write your own then and we'll, we'll conform. 
And, and just for the record, Joe, you're probably the only one at this table who doesn't know why I put this thing here. What thing? The, uh, the thing your troops were sitting on. Oh, yeah. That is the original Rice Fitz Kriegspiel. Oh, really? Um, when we went to Berlin the last time, I dragged my beloved wife and son the entire way through the Charlottenburg Museum just to find that cabinet. Cool. It looks yeah. like it's in great shape. It is. It's And it's just... It's it's different than I thought. It's very different than I thought. It folds out in a really elaborate, I would say, German woodworking way. And the the, the geomorphic square terrain tiles are made out of ceramic. They're painted well, ceramic. They're just... That thing's heavy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Germans have been looking for it ever since uh, Jim ever, left. <laughs> ever since Felker <laughs> sort of had to walk sideways out of the Charlottenburg. Get a, get a giant thought, raincoat on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought your reaction was, that's it? Yeah. I got emotional. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, baby. The, the, guy, the guard was looking at me funny because... <laughs> The guard wasn't the only one looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife and son were too. Oh, no, they knew that was coming. They knew that was coming. Granddaddy of all modern war games. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Il Duce. Really? From the No Enemies himself? Here, Dan is he in the house. What's up, Brother Man? Oof. He come to look at some Napoleonics. All right, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, we're good. Uh, I think the only thing you don't know, because obviously, Ron, you've played a lot of uh, LaSalle. We got this right here. Those are your objectives. They've been placed. You're the attacker. That's why you got a few extra units. He's got some in Velkerheim. He's garrisoning the stuffing out of that. And they're over here. Um, the other thing I observe is that everybody gets to take inactivation before the other side gets to interrupt. And if you and if you say, if the three of you are going to pick your action, if two of you are doing the same thing, they must do it together. And if three of you do it to the same thing, you must do it together. You determine the order in which things happen. Oh, okay. All right, so if, let's say, I don't know, Achilles wants to move uh, and Velker wants to bombard, you decide which happens first. But both of them get to happen before somebody gets to interrupt. Ah, gotcha. Okay. All right. And everybody's got their own mo, the, uh, the wagon there and the wagon there. Both rivers are, both streams are fordable. And uh, except they, of course, do cause an inconvenience. I like calling it an inconvenience. Um, and we have Sean Connery holding your dice. Did you adjust this, Chrono? I yes, have adjusted mine to yes, account for our mm -hmm. garrison. Any French uh, not in a, a in a, to for Joe's benefit in LaSalle units that are in line or mass throw forward their skirmishers, such as they have them. Units in column do not. I don't see any, or square, or garrison. So uh, I think everybody's doing it. All right. Let's uh, work our way then through the turn. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum, bum. Club game. Oh, and uh, Ron, 10 turns. 10 turns, 10 turns, 10 turns. Okay. We begin with the momentum phase. Everybody, please look at your momentum charts. How many brigades do each of you have on the table? For example, Belker, I think, has three. Yep. Belker has three. We're only counting infantry, right? No. It's all it's all your brigades. So if you have a cavalry brigade, that counts too. No. Yep. Yeah, so I got, I got or, three also. Or a artillery brigade as the case maybe. Yeah, if you <laughs> if you formed an artillery brigade, which most of you didn't. Um, so yeah, for example, you've got, uh, the first brigade, the second brigade, we were very unsubtle about this and Bruno. So I think you've got, uh, yeah, three, correct Achilles? Yes, sir. That's what I thought. All right. So, and 
Yeah, so it's 333. Yeah, 333. All right, so count them up. Make sure you've got them. You both have your, both sides have their baggage, so add two more. One of the big decisions you're going to make each turn, again for Joe, is you're going to decide whether you want to use your general for an intervention for an emergency formation change or whether you'd like to use him as a pot to get some bonus momentum. I suspect all of you are going to want to use him for bonus momentum on this first turn. Anybody disagree? No. Didn't I think know. so. So let's get a 1d6 and you divide it in half. There's my roll. There you go. All right, give yourself that many extra. One and two is one. Two, three is two. All right, yeah, one and two is one. Three, four is two. And five, six is three. You round up? Uh, well, it's just, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's one, two is one. Three, four yeah. is two. Five, six is... Oh, I got you. Yeah. So, and finally, so that's your momentum for the turn. And now we're going to roll these mo dice. Best part of the day... Let's do it. I've been looking forward to it. There are over 100 dice about to be rolled. They're 200 deep <laughs> or not too, not too uh, different. Everybody, yeah, you're quite close to each other. Everybody's looking for sixes. Do it. You notice I gave you differently colored dice. I did. I, I nice. enjoyed that. They're very bright and colorful. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm like a Chinese arcade. Wee! All those guys playing pachinko. I see six. <laughs> One, two, three, I have four, six. Oh, no. I see eight. I have six. All right. Hey, Austrian. The Austrians will have the first momentum. They also get to play skirmishers. It is up to you, Chrono, to determine where the skirmishers are placed. I don't think you're going to get to place many of them. Oh, another thing for you, Ron. This is a double base with game. I have turned on the grid to match four inches, so if you turn on grid measure, it will represent base widths. Uh, see, it's 16 base widths for skirmishers, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's take a look. Eight? I thought it was eight. I thought it was, was eight. It eight or 16 for deploying. I thought it was, si I thought, I thought it was 16 inches. No, I mean, that might be it. Let me check. It's been a little bit. Yeah. Uh, No, so longer than eight base lists, you're yeah. correct. Yeah. Double the engagement range. I don't think anyone's actually in range of ours yeah, at this so. point. But uh and those are horses, so. if they are, they're wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. You pro that that's probably yeah, they are uh, just out of range. So we'll have to sell for having the first turn. We'll just sell for yeah. uh, so the first the first activation goes to the allies. Uh, what you each have to announce what you're going to do with your forces. Um, I'm going to start out with bombardment on the you're center gonna, here. You'll bombard. What are you going to do over there, OJ? I will do the same thing. Another bombardment. What are you going to do, Joe? Also bombardment. All right. All well, along the line. All, all along the watchtower. Um, oh, no, not again today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clear this delightful dice tower mess. Guess I'm gonna start with OJ. That's the simplest. What you gonna do, OJ? Uh, you think Chrono go after his well. artillery before they can deploy and do anything? Might as well. Yep. All right. Just shoot up that way. And what is the range of gunnery since so that everybody, including Joe, knows base width? I believe, I believe it's twenty-four base width. But I will double check because it, it has been a little bit. Yep, I have it here. It's twenty-four. Perfect. Right, twenty-four base width, so a whole lot of inches. And so OJ, and remember, it does bounce through, except this doesn't because he's shooting down. Yep. Elevation. Yep. Uh, all right. And does he take a modifier? Is there any modifier because he's shooting at a limbered gun? I don't believe so. I believe there is a shift up for that. Oh, does he get one? Uh, bombarding. There aren't many modifiers. No. Target in March or Square. Nope. That's not it. Isn't that March, technically? I don't or think it is. No, it's, he's limbered. 
I, I don't think that counts as March. I think it's limbered. Yeah, limbered. you're right. Because yeah. limbered in their true trade formation is limbered in the limbered. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's one. And so OJ, no bonuses. Uh, you need four dice for fours. One. And let's see here. You got another gun. What you going to shoot at? Yep. Uh, shoot this artillery. Reserve. Four dice also for force. Two. All right. Other bombardment from OJ? None? No. None. Chrono, I'm looking at your side of the battlefield. What do you got? I have this uh, light battery up on the hill. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to uh, take a pot shot at that uh, mm. field artillery hiding in the woods. Bound and determined to hit those fellows. Four dice for four, I imagine. Uh, for fives usually. Oh yeah, yeah. light guns, and I think light it's in guns. the woods. Uh, also counts as yeah. obstruction. Yeah. So I need sixes, six, honestly. Six, yeah, four for six. But you know, uh, nothing. All right, anything else you got? I got these guys coming over there. Gonna come visit you. I'm just gonna Ooh. go straight through that hole. Oh column. boy, there's the one firing over a swamp, but the first die hits past the swamp, so it counts. Yep. Here we go. But the first one is four for what? Four, four for four. Four for four. A single hit. Four for six. A hit. Same. Another hit. Mm -hmm. And last one. A hit. That's not bad, honestly. I'll take it. see a pattern developing there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joe. Well who do you want to shoot at? Uh, okay, so this gun right here yes. uh, is blocked by that hill, but it does have a shot over here at the Empress's Dragoons. I'd say so. Yeah. I think it's, there's a big It's close. There. It's close, but we'll go there. We'll go there. Okay. Yeah, I think you got it. All right, so, and she is... Hold on Three dice for fours. Three dice for fours? Mm-hmm. Yep, two hits. Bad. Nothing to bounce through, plus there's woods in the way. So. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, this gun, Kemp, is going to fire over here at the first cuirassier. Right here. And then, and then the second curiosity. <laughs> and then the second curiosity. Mm -hmm. Is that three for fours also? It is. Yeah, I think all your guns are three for fours. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Mm -hmm. And then the ones behind them, same three for thing. Six. Three for six. Two hits. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Like that. Well done. That's a good start. For sure. All right. Yep. And then these guys right here, which is a horse artillery, which is three dice for fours. Yep. Yep. We're just gonna hit that same infantry column. Hmm. There. Just checking. It yep. <laughs> three for fours. Three for four at the front. Uh, one hit. And now these are all three for sixes. Nope. Next one. Oh, two hits. Ooh. And then the last one. Mm -hmm. One hit. Okay. That's not a bad day's work. Now to make them stick. Yeah, now let's... Yeah, I was going to say, now we got to stick them. Now let's uh, see what sticks. We're coming back to OJ, seeing what sticks. OJ, it's got to be two for six. Duck one. Ooh, one hit. That shakes them. Hang on a second. Oh. Well, missed anyone. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, missed it. Sorry, I gotta... got a little ahead of myself. Yep, you got to give me a second, because when you shake yeah. stuff, you got to mark it. Yep. And we say fatigued. I, knew since I just had that one other unit. It wasn't going to get too far ahead of you. And we say yet. fatigued. <laughs> Use the proper word, OJ. He's, he's tired. He's tired. <laughs> There are all, all right, these this, cannibals. This big old column with a whole face full of cannon shot. Ouch. 
I guess I'll do it. I mean, we both hit him, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Two you can do it. Two for five? Yep, those are the guard. Oof. Mm -hmm. Both. Ooh. Good start. Good start. Uh, how many guy behind him? One. One? Mm -hmm. No, one. Okay. No. Next. Three. Uh, how many? Three. Three. All right. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, come on. I locked right up. And two. No, uh, I Nothing. started well. I got the first got the guy in front. <laughs> All right, Joe, two on the Empress Dragoons for fives. Got one. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Two on those Curassier for five. Got one. And two on the Curassier behind them for five. Got one. Nice. Well done. Oh. Not bad first round of shooting. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. All right. That was a bombardment. Everyone remember, you have to take off that momentum from each of your cards. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. done on my side. And it's one momentum, right? Correct. Yep. Done. Okay, got it. What's next? Oh, it's still us? Yep. Yep. That does not prompt I, an interruption. I do uh, not have anything else right at the moment. I'd like to do movement. I want to move. Well, okay. Uh, you, all, all you have to say is you want to move, and then you can figure out what you're going to do. Chrono, okay, what, what, what do you want to do? Um, I am going to sit for the moment. All right. Joe, it's you. All right. Uh, we're going to move the 95th Rifles into this town, garrison the town. All right. You got to, well, first of all, you've got to move them enough. It's a complication. You won't be able to garrison it till next turn once they're in it. Well, uh, next activation anyway. Yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, so, all right, so I move them on top. Is that how we do it? Yep, see? Just like Just that. Just like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And That's, these guys. Okay. They're yeah. in the same brigade, and they're in activation range, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's that, all. That's, that, two, yeah. that's two, because it is a complication to move into a town. Okay, so two off of my card. Mm -hmm. All right, I got it. And that takes us to the a third phase. That doesn't. That wasn't. He didn't do that anywhere near Velker, did he? Mm, nope. He can't see there, and this. He doesn't. One, it, uh, sight line of sight doesn't matter with. Uh, uh, adjacent with your, it's control. just four base width. Just, if you do anything within four base widths. Triggers activation. But that doesn't. That doesn't. Okay. So, uh, all right. Allies, next round, anything? I would like to move. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, real quick. quick. Did you put out any uh, skirmishers, or we didn't have any? Uh, you, did, you, uh, did, you weren't in we're range. Not ra we were not in range. Next, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I missed no that. problem. No problem. Uh, I would like to move. All right, so move for you, Joe, anything? Uh, Well, I guess I would like these to garrison. That would be a formation change with the complication. Yep. Okay. Then that's so that'll be a formation way. change. And over here for Mike, anything? No, not at this moment. All right. So which one do you want to go first, Kron? Um, I'll let him do his uh, formation change. All right. So what you do here is you just ba you basically form square, but you form it in such a way that you're facing out the four directions. Only one guy can face each way. Got it. I saw that pictured in the in the rules. There you go. All right, so that's done. That is two more for you. Uh, and you and since that's a global order, you can actually change formation of anyone else in your force if you wish at this time. Uh, I don't think I have anyone I want to change. No, I'm good. Okay. All right, so you can just bip yourself two down, Joe. And Chrono, right. you move. All right. Uh, it's 12 base width for cavalry, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, 8. 8 in mass. Okay. Uh, give me 8 off those infantry. And it's 4, not 8. Oh, yeah, 4. 4, four, four base uh, Yeah, I can... Uh, 
there. All right. And I only have point uh, seven from there, but I will do it. So, hello. That will trigger interrupt if they wish to take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Mike doing anything? He said no. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, Ron, you want to interrupt? Yes, we'll interrupt. All right, Velker, what do you want to do? I would like to move. You're going to move. Ron, what do you want to do? Oh, good question. Um, what's the expect this cavalry to be? Oh, they're up here. Uh, I'm going to move. All right, and uh, Achilles, what are you going to do? Move. All right, well, there's that. I'll let you decide who's going first. Falcon, you may go first. All right. Hmm. Did you change the plan at all, Delnor? I didn't see what the plan was. <laughs> <laughs> didn't. Did I look? No plans were there. I'm not going to interrupt your plans, so I'll let you guys do the wings, and I'll take care of the center. That's so un-Napoleon of you. Uh, I am so tired of me right now. I've been working 14 <laughs> hours today, so... Oh, gosh. I was gosh, like you, uh, still going like crazy right now. Yeah, and then tomorrow, same thing. Rough. Yeah, I left my house a lot quarter to five and just got home and I got on YouTube. Yay! You like us. You really like us. Yeah. Like, not, the same far thing, but, not the same thing, but we had a work crew show up this morning at just before 5.30 to work on concrete. Probably can't see them yet. There you go, Ron. Correct. I just retyped it, basically. Yep, yep I see. But if you want to adjust it, please feel free, Your Majesty. <laughs> and remember, you know, remember, Velker, movement is by brigade. These guys should be with their these guys should be with their brigade, dude. Well, yeah, you can't move this gun. It's from a different brigade. It's it's with Nansuti. Uh, where's Nansuti? You see? Oh, oh, I see. That those guns rolling up that way is fine. They're part of the same big nasty brigade of of guard guards. Guard. Yep. But that gun's got to go somewhere else. All right. So that's your move. Does that put him within four? I assume it does. Uh, just about. No. Not quite. Though. Oh, not quite. It's All like right. very edge of it. Very yeah. very edge of it. So am I behind it? Yeah, you're behind the ridge, but remember also you trigger activation if you get within four base widths of him. Oh, I see. You're not there quite, though. Yeah, you're not at the crest. You can't see. If you deploy that gun, you'll be both in range and you'll be on the crest so you can shoot. All right. I just want to be oh, wow. Now. <laughs> What's up? I, sh I just accidentally pushed a button and blindfolded myself. <laughs> that's 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 B. That's the B. That's the B yeah. button. Uh, we have used even... that feature. We, we have used that feature before. Fletcher, Fletcher Pratt. Pratt. Cause Fletcher Pratt. I've yeah. never seen that before, so it was like, what the hell did I just do? You have do? to use it for Fletcher Pratt. <laughs> yeah, wait to get to Fletcher Pratt. And you cannot move these guys because they're in a different group. You can only move one brigade at a time. That's so. This right here, those three guys. That's one momentum. Man, the rule sets. I know. You're yeah. being you're being OJ. <laughs> you're being OJ. We understand. Okay, I'm good with that. That's all I can do. All right. So, uh, he, just so I know, he could actually move the infantry here because they're the same brigade, correct? No, mm. they're not in engaged. They're not in range. He put them. Yeah, yeah. They've got to be within uh, what four base widths or yeah. I think it, I think it's eight, actually, but I might be No, wrong. it's not that far. It, it's, again, I think you're doubling it because of the base width. It might be it, yeah. Yeah, he is four base widths. I keep thinking I keep thinking eight inches because that's what we normally play yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah it is four base widths. They'd have to be four base widths away to be able to activate with the same group. So yeah. his putting them all the way down there limits their ability to move as a group. See, I see. I've got you can and you can daisy chain it though, because as long as you're within four base width of another unit in the force, you can daisy chain. Yeah, it you can daisy line. chain it, but not like this. You can't. <laughs> yeah, not like that. <laughs> yeah, as long as all the daisy chains in the same force. Yeah, yeah. same brigade. Yeah. 
So anyway. we're looking for uh, Dalinor and Achilles. I'm right here. Achilles is to my left. <laughs> I am. Oh, you're being helpful. Somebody going to move? <laughs> Go ahead, Achilles. Okay. You, you can move at the um, same time. I know. I'm still thinking. Oh, okay. So for unattached artillery, mm-hmm. uh, since we're, we move by brigade, but unattached artillery is not... You, in a brigade, you so can, how do they work? You can set... What you want to do, and I'm certainly going to let you do it because this is something we did not discuss, you can do one of two things, and you're going to want to do one of those two things. You either attach it to another brigade and say, mm-hmm. like, it's with the 2nd Brigade, or you make them a brigade. Ah, I see. A battery, essentially. Yeah, grand okay. battery, basically. <clears throat> Whichever right. you choose to do, just let us know, and we'll stick. make you stick to that. Okay. Um, I will attach them all to Bruno then. Okay. That's, that's, you can do that. <clears throat> I'm not all going right. to so label them. Okay. And, um, for them to unlimber is just a regular move. That but is if a they form- move, no, that is a formation, formation change. change. Formation change. Ah, okay. So that's not a move. Correct. So, but if they move... Will they then be able to do a formation change Later, when yes. we do that? Okay. Yes, perfect. Uh, as I think about it, you can do everything. You can do every activation once in a turn. Gotcha. Beside or uh, the gun, there's a qualifier is you can either bombard, bombard or volley. You cannot do both. Okay. So, all right. So Bruno's Bruno's brigade is the one that's going to be moving. Now. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Interpenetration is complication, correct? Correct. Yep. (laughs) McGuire, are you in the video chat and harassing me on Twitter? (laughs) <laughs> He's multitasking. <laughs> I have plenty of love for Joe Don Baker. You stop. Mitchell. Mitchell. He's a cop. He's a cop. He's an angry Buddha. He's in a wind tunnel. Eyes done. How you doing, Achilles? I'm good. Okay, so that brigade has moved. All right, so did it, nobody moved within range. Everybody take your one. If you did complications, it's two. Um, but otherwise, er, er, everybody took your one momentum penalty. Yes, sir. Or made your payment, I, took, I guess. Yeah, I took my two. All right. Uh, nobody, that does not trigger an interruption. So we go to... The uh, we ask the French again. What do you want to do, Velker? Move. Move for Velker. The Emperor. Formation change. Formation change. Uh, Achilles. Formation change. Which one do you want to do first, Ron? Your call. Remember, the formation changes have to happen together. Yes, we got to hold hands. I understand. You're, um... you're, you're, you're funny that way. Velker, you could move first. Mass, correct. Since I'm on your left, Ron, I'll hold out my right hand. (laughs) I'm scared, hold me. Try not to make this that weird. uh... (laughs) Too late. Hey, he's worked 14 hours. He's Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no. For the record, I am all about defending Ron tonight. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to be nothing but defending Ron. After Achilles. He harassed him when he wasn't here. Yes, because he wasn't here. (laughs) <laughs> he was attacking you earlier, Ron. But I now, to know. now, now I'm going to defend him from the top rope. This is going to be tables, ladders, and chairs. Me and Achilles. <laughs> watch out! Watch out! Watch out! He's got a chair. I'm, oh. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. I, I don't know if I'm scared that Jim knows what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm done. Okay, so you did your move. 
you do know that their movement is more than that. I, 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 I'm 1.5 um, base widths. Yes, and if you look over here, in mass, their movement is 6 base widths. Oh, six, 6 base widths? Mm -hmm. I thought that was inches. Negative. That's a big nope. difference. It's base widths for the purposes of uh, uh, customizing your bases at home. I see. <laughs> This is not Plamus. <laughs> I am I am really, really thankful that I had the foresight to have written my notes, all of their movements in base width. All of all of this is that <laughs> thing about the thing about um, LaSalle, as long as nobody travels too far, you can just go nuts. You don't have to worry about it. But that's a base width, right? And no, you can't it isn't even trade an enemy it's unit. Free? Yeah. Mm hmm Whoa. Yeah, I know. It, it's basically it's you measure basically from the furthest point. It's the moved, right. Now, yeah. the thing with this is, obviously, if you hit the swamp, that's going to be a uh, complication. complication. Yep. Uh-oh, traffic jam. Is it a squish? Mm -hmm. They don't want to get their nice, shiny boots all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys are not used to being marched anywhere near the bad guys. <laughs> this is true. Like what now, is? That's all they're going to do. What is this noise? Oh, interesting. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. Not all right. So today. that that was Mortier, and not in range. So that will that at least is not an interrupt. I give it and Velker, and so that's one oh, point. No. That was that was one point. Yeah, yep. that was one point for Velker. What's this? Oh, that, is that Ron? Yes, sir. Ron bring a gun. Very good. Yep. Which is a formation. And change. the the gun goes at the front of the. Yeah, limber, you see what right? what Ron's doing is the right thing. Yeah, that's what I was watching. Mm -hmm. I may be tired, but I think I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You need this moved, Achilles. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Oh. Yep. <clears throat> oh dear. I just put it there on the table's edge. A lot of guns. This one. Yep. That's the one that's fatigued. There you go. Fatigued and then the left. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Achilles? Mm -hmm. All yeah. set? All right, everybody pay your points, whatever they might be. There were no interrupts triggered. I now ask, uh, well, I'm going to ask Achilles first this time. What are you going to do? Uh, move. You're going to move. Ron. Bombard. What are you going to do, Valker? Move. Okay, you got two moves and a bombard, Emperor. What do you want to do? Let's do bombard first. There's going to be a bombard first, says the big man. Uh, where This one right here? It looks like a lot. That, Only two. That and that. Yep. You're correct. That's a horsey gun. Three for four at the front. One. <laughs> He's on fire. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and uh, and uh, three for six at the back, please. Whoa. Oh, look at you. Ow. That hurt. That was saucy. That's mean. That's mean. That's that was, that was uh, strenuous. Uh, one here. You need a. That's, uh, that's one for four to get it to stick. I still got another bombard. Oh, you do. I'm sorry. Let me. Uh, All right. Let me mark this then, and it'll be so. Where that be at? Well, this is affects line of sight, right? Uh, no, it does not. It's oh. a just mere. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Is decorative. Is well, no. It, it is a uh, it is a complication for walking through, but it doesn't block LOS. 
What's the total range for the guns? 24. 24. Mm-hmm. So basically, no, it'll, stop, it'll with... stop right there, yeah. Ron, because it's going uphill. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. It's elevation difference. It can uh, bounce it for hill, but it can't. Oh, I didn't know. Well, I did. I should have zoomed in. I didn't see that hill there. It Dude, blends in very well. Yes, but uh. Yeah, let's do it. Guy on the hill? You go to that guy that there. one. No, the guy on the hill. Yeah, because the gr- if you shot the Grenzers, it'd go through. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, it'll nick these uh, guys the back. Uh, I figured it'd nick that back of the hill. Okay, yeah, we'll go that, that way then. All right. So. You can actually bounce over a hill. It's just if you shoot into an elevation change, it stops. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Uh, four for four. Up at the front. Bowling for dollars. Bowling for Grinzers. Bowling for Grinzers. <laughs> Ooh! Pow! Wow. And that's four for six in the back on the 46th Chastelier. Look at you! Man, hey. you, if you start sticking these, you're going to be dangerous. All right. All right, we'll start up here at the front. That's one for four. Ticks. Yeah. Hang on a sec. You got it. That's good troops. Two for four. Ooh. Wrecking things right now. Three, four, four. Two. Nice. Ron, you're supposed to think Calvary. <laughs> and uh nah my artillery tonight well <laughs> my artillery tonight let's get one, cavalry out. one for four no not bad though. my cat no not bad at all my cavalry did good for snappy but i don't want to jinx it yeah it did all right so uh we had moves on the left and the right so let's have them all right well you guys are moving i need to go get a drink good plan valkyrie yeah. <laughs> Mike, can you give me uh, four base widths off of your uh, infantry on the far end of the table there? Uh-huh. Just outside. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Remember, when deploying, he's going to be in front of that. So, um, just to remind you. <laughs> thank you All right, that was yours. Nansuti. Yep. All right, how about you, Achilles? Who are you moved? Done. First brigade. Move? Already done. First, first brigade moved up. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a boat ton of grenadiers. Um. Anybody get saucy with anybody? I don't nope, think so. Just outside. All right, uh, that's one point off for everybody. For the bombardment and the two moves. I didn't see complications. I didn't see so well shoot, we'll start with the Emperor this time. Are you back? I am here. What you want to do this turn? Min move. Move, Velker. Um, that's formation change. Yes, formation. All right, just so you know, that will trigger an interrupt. Is everyone okay with that? <laughs> Am I loud? Napoleon? Uh, Does that interfere too much, or should I wait? Well, I don't interfere with me. I don't know about... Uh, Achilles? Achilles. Uh, Achilles, what are you doing? It's not going to mess with me as long as like, I'm going to bombard. So, okay, good, all right. Yeah. Oh, that basically, no, won't mess with you too much. No, I mean, we could go with an interrupt, I guess. All right. So uh, so what you've got is a formation change, a move, and a bombard. Which one do you want, Ron? Let's go with the bombard first. Bombard. Okay. <clears throat> the target for all my guns is going to be this. Oh, dear. 
<laughs> He's just saying it right off the bat. Yeah. So four for we'll, four we'll go front. from right to left. Four for four at the front. Okay. All right. Oh, that kind of sucked. <clears throat> Two. And four for that's six at the back. Bad. That's actually your that's actually your odds. Yeah. <laughs> four for six, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like I got one. Two. Two. Yeah. Ew. I can't tell because they keep falling off the table. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, yeah, that die roller needs to move. Do what I did. I put it on my... Uh, oh, thank you. The back. <laughs> or you can put it back here on the... Uh, yeah. Put it on the river. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right where it is. Yeah. All right. It's fine. All right. Uh, our next gun firing is this one here, which is the reserve artillery. That is a heavy gun. Ooh, that only matters. Yeah, but he but... is fatigued, so... I don't know is that if that matters. I don't think it, it does. It does. He's shaking it. If he's shaking it, it's a downshift. It's not that, well. Shaking isn't a thing. Yes, it is. That's the shooter is a shake. Is Wait, shaking. That is called shaking. Pad. Wow. What yes. is, oh, it was fatigued. Is Blucher? Fatigued is Blucher. Yes. Blucher. Uh oh. What, what what game are you playing, Joe? Uh, J uh Jim. <laughs> it's just terminology. It's just terminology. Because fatigue. Okay. Interesting. That is called shaking. Interesting. <laughs> uh, four for fives. Yep. Yep, four for fives. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there oh, you go. oh. Don't like this at all. And uh, that back there is uh, four for sixes again. Hot Look, streak. This guy, yeah, I was going to say Achilles uh, woke up his dice a little bit. And over here we've got uh, four for four. Yep, four for four at the front. Oof. Three. It's horrendous. It is at the end. I mean, Calvary left here. And uh, four for six at the back. One. Well, Achilles, you could uh, pull off something we have. I don't think we've seen it. No, we did. I think Daniel, David Pumphouse did it. <laughs> I.e., a fresh unit getting wasted by a single volley of cannon fire. Yeah, the problem uh, is I got to make it stick. <laughs> yeah, you got to stick eight. You got eight for five. You could do it. Eight for five. Okay. Oh, I need six of them. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that sucks. I hate that. <laughs> that was very honest. That was very honest. And yep. now we got four for five also. Okay. Except four, right? One. Only one. Whew. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> All right, that's the bombardment. Uh, I believe we said we had a formation change and a move. Ron, you want to do your move? Uh, yes. Now, since these guys start in the woods, it's a complication for them to move. It is. Any part of the base. And you're within four, so it's going to be basically one base. With <laughs> oh, Haz was playing D and D. That's why he wasn't paying attention earlier. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> shame. <Shady. Sorry. laughs> uh oh, I just crashed out. Well, come on back. We'll yep. get you. Just, yep. Just letting you know. Yes, it's hard to keep. I mean, if you're hot on the shooting. The first round, it's hard to keep that hot streak going that when you got mojo make working. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's a lot of rolls to have to make. You know? <clears throat> I'm already like Long Street. I'm already looking for justifications. Understood. <laughs> I'm done moving. Felker, you said you had some changes you wanted to make. More TAs coming. All right. Put them in place. Mm -hmm. 
this yeah this guy can fire at the town as well. His only target, just you understand, is the town. This guy, right? Actually, no. He could also go this way. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. I think. Well, what's the bad thing for towns against guns? He just gets cover. Yeah. Oh, they're heavy, so that may not matter. Oh yeah, he's gonna blow, yeah the heavy the heavies are gonna blow through the cover anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. also canister range, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it says a shift down, whatever that means. Yeah, it's just a mi it's it's a way of saying a minus one. Or a plus one, depending on how you want to look at it. Oh no, they, they will not ignore cover because they're in volley range. They re re roll ones instead. Oh, that's so right. Split, that's right. Yeah. So it's still the shift because they're not far enough away to bombard, but but they get to re-roll all ones. Yeah. That's which, is, nasty. Could be, which could be nasty. Which is well, considering they're rolling what eight dice. He tie a piece. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing how many ones I've been rolling recently, it might be something. True. That could be a thing. I guess we'll see. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, that's it. Everybody, please on the French side, take your points. I think everybody was just one point. No, I was two. Okay. All right. Uh, do you, I guess I am going to call you the Archduke Charles. Do the Archduke Charles wish to interrupt? I believe I do. All right. There's an interruption offer. Joe, what do you want to do? Hmm. Um, the guns have already bombarded, so they can't. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. I could volley fire to shoot at these guns on the hill. You could. You're going to get, get, you're gonna get one, one You're going to get one die. Yeah. One die. And you're going to give them a, the interrupt that would let them then bombard you. Oh, volley fire is an interrupt? Yep. Okay. Um, or I can move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking I want to. Uh, I think I want to move. All right. What you want to do, Chrono? I'm going to rally. What you want to do down there, OJ? Um, I can rally even though I just got one point off, right? Or that one sure. point? No, that one point you keep forever. That's a. That's no, a no, fact. that's blue curve. That's blue curve. Oh, that's, you can really rally. Yeah. Right. All right. Jeez. OJ rule. Yes, <laughs> yes. You, you can. We're we're playing LaSalle tonight, that's Jim. Not, <laughs> the OJ rule is not something you're supposed to achieve for. <laughs> it's not a goal. <laughs> it's not a goal. It's not a life goal. Yes. It's a sign you, of yes. old age. Yes, you can rally. It's a sign that your kids are getting older. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rallies first. Who's first? Um, I'm just gonna roll. I'm rallying Von Risa here. So these, those guys, yeah. these two. So the one in the front is one die for a three. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the guy in the back is two dice for a three. I'm both. I paid my point, so. OJ, who are you rallying? Uh, third Brigade's the only one that needs it. All right. Where's that boy at? Right here at the horse. Fellers. That would so be all the in... cavalry. <laughs> the one in the front, that is one die for a three. Yep. Got it. Same in the back, I think. One die for a three. Got yep. it. Pay your point, please. I already did. All right, Joe. You're up to move. Okay. Uh, quick question. What, remind me, what is the command range? There's no command range. It's oh. it's, it's um, four base oh, widths. Right. Four base yeah. widths to be a force. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> See, I was thinking of a different game, too. Haha, -ha, take that. <laughs> it feels bad. Yes, but I'm not in charge. Fair. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so, so when did the tanks come in right yeah <laughs> so quick question mm -hmm. quick question mm -hmm. so the uh the use of the general mm -hmm. uh for intervention what is the intervention we're allowed you, you're no longer you used it at the beginning to get that extra momentum point 
No, I understand that. The other was... thing you can do is slap him down pretty much at at, at any time, really. Um, and within, I think it's four base widths, anybody inside that four base widths can make an emergency formation change. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I don't know. This may not be advisable, but I'm thinking about sallying out the cavalry here for these guns. I mean, it might be worth a shot. Yeah. They'll have to interpenetrate as it costs you. And then yeah. they could, of course, hit you with a... Uh... You may want to wait until they shoot and then go, because then they can't... They may not get a shot at you this turn, then. But, you know, if you said it aloud, they may hold it. But that's the mind game. Yeah. It's did up he, to you, though. Did he mean that or not? Hmm. I'm going to move them up. Yeah. I want to keep them out of four here. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Just remember, four inches is also, four is also your charge range, so... Uh, I can't charge him outside of four. You know what's going to happen when you hit that four? When you hit that four in LaSalle, you enter his engagement range. At that point, you get either uh, one base width of move or your whatever you have left in your move, whichever is less. And Calvary get two, but yeah. Yeah. You're going to get... Saying what, I'm, so, what the so, bottom line is, you can't charge him from there. You have to. You have to get within his threat zone, and in theory, before. potentially get shot at before you can. Before I can charge. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, right. well, so part of the game is either maneuvering to avoid that, or um, getting him to put it, waste his fire somewhere else, etc. All right, then we're not going to move. Okay, didn't understand that. No problem. Uh, I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything else either. Uh, well, yeah. I guess I could rally. All right. I have. I think I've got somebody who's got one down, don't I? I don't, no, I don't think anyone. Did, no, no one shot at you. I don't think you got shot at. Not okay. yet. Then I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Pass. So let's pass. Then. Let's pass. Okay. All right. So pl uh, pay your. I think Chrono already did. <laughs> Mike, pay your point. Not done anywhere near the enemy. So. Uh, what do you want to do this time, OJ? I'm just going to stand still right at the moment. Chrono? Rally. Who are you rallying? Well, never mind. Uh, let me ask Joe, do you have something you want to do? No, I'm good. All right, so who are you rallying? Uh, I'm rallying this brigade. All right. Guys down here in the valley, they got mm -hmm. uh, two, for, two for three. Mm-hmm. On both. And these lads up on the hill took something? Uh, no, they didn't get touched. No, they didn't. Yeah, that's it. All right, pay for that rally then. All right. And that's it. All right. Uh, Chrono, what do you want to do this turn? Or uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to move. OJ or Joe, do you have anything you want to do? No. Chrono. Or Joe, do you okay. have anything? Joe, you're good? Yeah. No, I am. I have something I want to do. What you want to do? I want to move, uh, do a movement order. All right. We've got movement orders. You can do those simultaneously. Two, six. You do have to measure it, Joe. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's a lot less than... I, I, that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, cool. <clears throat> it's, not, it's not total helicopter movement? <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, Excellent. you're getting... Okay, that right there is within four inches of the enemy. Oh, or oh is it? You were. 
See right there. Right there, yeah. I want him out here is what mm -hmm. I want. I okay, figured. So he's outside. Cool. All right. Cool. Getting used to it. Of course. A lot right. of the early game is maneuvering and trying to get in position because once you get in that engagement zone, you can't do anything. Right. right. Uh, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing that. Yep. So, and Chrono, remind us what the rule is about charging across rivers. Uh, you can do it. It is a complication. If you end up with your part of your base in the river, you suffer a detriment in your fight. There you go. Uh, anyway. All right, so that was a move by Joe and a move by Chrono. Neither uh, pay, pay your point, please. And Chrono, you're up. Which uh, I, have I have formation change order. Joe, got anything you want to do? Nope. OJ? No. All right, Chrono, formation change. Point this battery. There you go. Okay. Pay that point down. Yep, I am. I have paid. Right. Anybody got anything else they want to do on the Austrian side? Not at this moment. I Joe. will pass. Joe. Pass. That's it. Over to the French. I'm gonna step away while they start moving. I'll be right back. You want to do Dalinor? I'm out of mo. How about you, Valker? Um, I would like to bombard. That's not a terrible shock. Bombard <laughs> or volley? Well, that's it's, that's, it's, 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 that's a volley, yeah. Well, that's true, because he can go this way, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what I'm asking him. Do you want to volley or bombard? Because if you... No, because it won't bounce. You're on a hill. Yeah, you're... I, I mean, you get double dice that... when you... you yeah, get you'll, double be, dice you'll be rolling you double dice on these guys in town. All right, so I'll volley for me. All right, the difference well. is that triggers the interrupt and the other one doesn't, right? True, true. No, yeah. they, no they both do. No, no bombard no, doesn't. doesn't. It does. I thought it was. No. Oh, okay. Bombard yeah, never does, right. even if you're near the enemy. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So, of course, uh, if you're near the enemy, bombarding, you have uh, bigger problems. I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, Achilles, what you want to do? Uh, move. All right. So, which you want to do first, Ron? Go ahead, Achilles. Move. Achilles, going to move. Okay. Bro. So, what are you going? Are you bombarding, Velker? I'm volleying. Oh, you are volleying. Okay. okay. Uh, it's going to be the second brigade. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They move six. <laughs> I'm going to hit Achilles with a virtual chair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me deduct those. Three. Ooh, that's a lot. Oof. Gonna hurt. Oh well. You're already paying. Du you're already paying yeah, you're, two. You're, yeah, you're already yeah, I know. Paying, but so. I wanted to move my little figure out of the way here, so he's not in the way. He's just hanging out. <laughs> he's being all Marshall Achilles. And there we go. So that's two. Right. Velker, you're gonna do some damage. Yes, please. Which, how do you want to do it? Grind them like meat. Yeah, I guess. That is eight <clears throat> dice for five, I should think. Because they get a shift. Correct? Five? Correct. Uh, yep, that's what I was looking for. He's in cover. 
usually be a four knots a five, but you're at canister range. Eight dice for fives. You get to reroll ones. Oh. <laughs> That's two. a lot of twos, not a lot of ones. Two. What was that for? Uh, he's, he's shooting a canister at you. In this uh, town here. Another eight dice for four for fives. Are we rolling ones. Two Ooh, better. Three hits. Uh, so, I think four. That's no, four. Four, four, four hits. hits plus reroll two. Five. Yeah, four hits and I two rerolls. I think I've lost audio. I'm not hearing anybody on the chat. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Hey, Joe. Joe. Joe, stop, Felker. Joe. Yeah, we can all hear us. We can't hear you. Let me check the chat. Yeah, he's not typing in chat. He's in the chat, and he doesn't show as muted. Uh, all right, I can't hear you guys at all. We hear you. We hear no, you. But we can hear. We can hear you. We hear you. Not that that's not that us telling right. you that is meaning anything because you can't hear us. No, I'm, we're typing. Cry and I are both typing it to him. Uh, I can. I can hear you now. Okay. okay. I had. A, I think I have a short in one of my cables. Okay, uh, that might do it. So, so you've got yeah. so far. We've got seven hits on these guys. We're going Ooh, again. Four, four thirty third. <laughs> this is not a heavy gun, so it's a mere eight for fives. That's what it was before. Yeah. Yeah, but you had a heavy gun, and that lets you reroll the ones. Ah, oh, I see. None. Okay. So let's see what sticks. Seven for four. Oh, didn't he have two rerolls or something? Wow! Oh, Wipeout. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> Goodbye, Never 33rd mind. foot. Good lord. No oh time for you. You, you want to go ahead and set that town on fire? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, he rolled up three heavy batteries and pounded the stuffing out of it. I guess, you know. <laughs> Wow! All right. Yeah, that that was that was suitably Napoleonic. Yep, that was World War One ugly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Battle of the Somme. <laughs> these and these... Tommy McGuire just commented that Velker hasn't been rolling like he normally does. And then, <laughs> see, see, you know, he and Ian they make a comment like that. The next thing that happens, a ship wait, gets wait, blown we... out of the water. Are we already in? <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm thinking of something else. No, no. We are uh, now. That was that. Uh, Achilles had his thing. That was a volley, which means that the uh, f the allies are entitled to an interrupt should they want it. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to do? We want to do with interrupt. Well, I can move the cavalry up now. Yeah, okay. I must do that. Uh, we'll interrupt. So that'll be a move. And then, OJ, you got anything? No, I do not. All right, Joe, you're up. Make sure I've got enough. Yep, I've got enough momentum. So I got to stop at four. Um, uh, it's four plus. Well, it just depends what you got when you get there. Yeah. Okay. And what? How many um, does he have in uh, mass? Eight. Horses eight. and horses and mass have eight. How much has he got left? Uh, two point four. As he hits it. He's got, two, yeah, he's 2. got two. 3. You've got two base widths to go for. You can go 7.7, 7, Joe. Yep. Now, if you hit the river, it's a complication. Well, you already got a complication. Oh, no, that'd be another no, complication. No, it's, it's a different complication. Yeah, you don't so want you, that. You'll, yeah. you'll have to stop at the river. We'll stop right before the river. Yep. And okay. here's those horses praying to God you win initiative. The <laughs> <I know. laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Well, there's going to be some dead Dutch dudes if you don't. <laughs> Plus side, these guys don't really have a shot down here in the end. It's only it's only two batteries. Yeah, it's only two batteries of heavy <laughs> guns firing canister. <laughs> it's only the heaviest of the batteries. Yeah, that's okay, the, the, yeah. So, the Emperor's lovely daughters. Um, yeah. I I think, think, all right, that I was a, a that was a movement in the face with the enemy. So that takes us back over to the French. French, you got anything? I think Velker, you're out of points, right? Yep. Yeah, Velker's out. Ron is I out. One. You got one. So, Achilles, go. Achilles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I want to rally my artillery here. Mm -hmm. It's one for three. 
Okay. Do I want to get below the number? Or? It's, it's permanent. No. You needed a three or better. Oh, I see. I need to be higher than the number. <laughs> Stop playing <course>. Shaco. <laughs> that poor regiment. Oh, my God. It is permanently fatigued. <laughs> we have scarred Joe. <laughs> yeah. I'm like... Yeah, it's PTSD now. <laughs> my my guys are my guys are rolling up in the town like, oh, we got protection. We're in the town. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> then three batteries come over the hill. Yeah, it's like eighteen guns. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. Um, eighteen shotguns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right, Ready? so that was Achilles doing that rally. That's the last mm -hmm. of the points. That was not in the face of the enemy, but the French are out over. T so are are we done? We good? We are, unless um, unless OJ wants to do some stuff, but because he's the only one who has points left on our side. Mm. Are we good? It's your yeah. call, OJ. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay, pass. All right, that's it then. Uh, we that's the end of turn one. Neat. Um, let's, I'm just checking on time. Yeah, we're good. 10 o'clock. We can do one more turn. All right, rock and roll. Uh, we set up our, uh, did we do any, oh yes, there was one, well actually that guy and this guy are going to reduce the overall allied skirmish screen by six. I have reduced it. I have so reduced it. Excellent. Anybody else on the Allies reduce the skirmish screen? Yeah, Anybody on the you... French side reduce the skirmish screen? Did this guy reduce it all? Yeah, I reduced, yes, him all right. I reduced him already from the first turn. So, so it's I figured you did. I just wanted to make 54 sure. 54 to 45. Ooh. French picking up a slight advantage. The French, I think, are still all good. Yep. All right. So, so that's, be... that is marked. Um, here we go. So let's dive in. Everybody's got the same number of base brigades. Nobody lost a brigade, so mark that, please. Remember how many you had? Yep. Valkyrie, you had two, I think. Mm -hmm. Or three. Yeah, you had three. You both, you all have the baggage. Give yourself two more points. Are you all going to use your general for his Mo die? I am. Yes. All right. Anybody not, say so. Not. Yes. You are not, Joe? I am not. All right. So what do you... Wait, why? Do you think it's a bad idea? Uh, there's nothing else you can use them for. Well, no, you can use the general for your... Interrupt. Um, interrupt uh, for formation change. Yeah, but you have to do that, like, now. Oh, you have to do it right now? Yeah, yeah, it's during yeah. the intervention. Well, it's not right now. It's the next thing you'd have to do. Oh, <laughs> Okay, then no. I'll use it, it. It's useful for situations that you get yourself into, and then you're like, well, I did not. The place where it really is important is these guys, if you felt you might lose, if you felt you actually might lose initiative with these horse sitting that close to them. They're not in range yet. But if they were, uh, I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's they... mostly useful for if you need to very rapidly change formation because you ran out of mo last turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so if everybody who's using it for Mo, roll 1d6 and cut it in half. I already rolled. All right, good. Yeah, me too. Two. That's two for Joe. I'm good. Velker, how many did you get? Velker, how many did you get for your Mo? One. Just one? Okay. Everybody all set with that? Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, yep. sir. I'm all good. All right, who's rolling for their skirmish screen? I guess I'll do it. Good luck. We need initiative. I know. Just, I'm just aware. I am I'm praying. <laughs> A lot of sixes in that blue pile. Six. Holy Three, cow, four, yeah, the French five, one just by how much? Three, four, five, six, seven by two. Yeah, we got eight. Yeah. Alright. Anybody in range for you to lay a skirmisher on him? Can you lay skirmishers on cavalry? You cannot. You can, yeah. uh, you can try. It's bad for the skirmishers. Oh, that's true. I forgot to skirmy <laughs> things out. That's right. Um, we, got, we got some over here. Where? Right here. Yep. That's got to be in range. And yep. can you put them on the town, too? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Actually, those two. Yeah. Uh, what's the range? Eight. 
Oh, yeah, so... You can also do these guys it, if you want. Only a, well, you only got two, so... Yeah, you've only got the two. Um, yeah, do these. Yeah, I'm do... just pointing out your options, Ron. <laughs> and I'm just... Just those oh. two, because I don't think Velker has any in range. Yeah, he does. Oh, these. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to affect Although, no, right that's... Now. Is that coming close enough to a... No, it's not. Unit? That horse isn't far... Isn't close enough. So, it's up to you, Ron. You're the boss. All right. We'll put one on this one over here. Oops. That guy's got skirmies. Mm. And we'll give the ones. And we'll, and we'll give skirmies to the 34th foot, Kent. Those guys are having a bad day. Not doing too bad. They just saw what happened over here. Don't you tell them what kind of day they're having. <laughs> they can't see anything. They see lost. <laughs> we that way. All they see is that town disappeared. That's, that's <laughs> true. Uh, all right, that's all she wrote. So, Ron, what are you going to do with this brand new initiative you've got? Uh, can I see the, these? Can these infantry see these horses? Which one? I'm sorry. Absolutely, crest is I'm like that. Volleying. You're volleying. I'm volleying. All right. I don't think these guys can see them, but I think these guys can. I would agree with that statement. So you're you're gonna volley. Yeah, I'm going to volley. Okay. You will volley. What are you going to do, Achilles? Bombard. Now, Velker is the one that's got some fun tactical choices. What are you going to do? Well, the volley will interrupt anyway, right? Yeah, well, you've already... You're going to interrupt, because right. Ron is volleying. Hey, that's what I was saying. Well, yeah. So he, yeah. Yeah, you like, might as might well, Velker. As well, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't get that one, I don't think. You got to go, go, go both sides. No, give, me, give me the other flank. Can you, tick, can you kick it? Yeah, the town's blocks. So you're going to get two. Who do you want to go first, Ron? You or... Uh... Well, what do, you, what do you want to happen first? You've got you've got two bombards that have to go together. Yep. No, actually, no. You've got two volleys that have to go together yep. and then a bombard. Well, uh, let the bombard go. Bombard! Okay. Bombard. Here we go again. Um... These guys are the target. <laughs> <laughs> they can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> you know, this is this is this is unkind. Is what this is. Uh, this <laughs> this is four for four on that guy. Starting from the right, I assume. Yeah. Two. Two. Oh, I dropped a skirmy on him. Uh. That's not how that works. No, they're firing, skirm firing skirmishers at us. You get they're launching. Though they call them leapers, after all. It's like that thing in the it's like that thing in the circus when they shoot the guy out of the cannon. Yeah, right. Kaboom! The flying. I feel like, it's, I feel like I'm fighting goblins in Warhammer Fantasy. The flying. There you go. The flying carpoozies. Four for six in the back. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Uh, the next one is four for fives. Uh, one. one. Four for sixes. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> Nothing. And then the last one is four for fours. Two. Two. Four Don't for clear sixes. it. Don't clear um. Two for what? sixes. Two for sixes? Four. Four for sixes. Okay. I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. The bouncer is not being affected. Yeah, no bouncer today, but five for uh, five for fives. Calvary's just sitting there getting taken in the snoot. One. One, One. yeah. Mm. Calvary is hard to actually damage with fire. Yep. Because they have a high resolve or resilience, I suppose. Yeah, but one of these day, you know, it's when it hooks, right? That it hooks. Yeah, when it hooks. It's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right, that's two volleys. Who, who goes first, Ron? You? Well, they go together, but yeah. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I've over. only got these two, so. Okay. Uh, two for fours. Yeah. Yep. Should be. Mm -hmm. One you hit. And you got to stick one for five. And you do. Now the slaughter master. <laughs> yeah, Velker, do this thing again. Uh, mm. Left the one on the left first, yeah. Yes, please. Uh, that's eight dice for fours, re-rolling ones. Oh, 
Uh, yep. Four hits, one reroll, yeah. Nope. Nope. Eight dice for fours, rerolling ones. No, no, the, the guy... That's He's heavy. They're both heavy. Uh, I thought one of them was... Uh, the one on the far right is. Oh! Six with one reroll. Good lord. All right, Valker. Going to go for the twofer. Ten for five. Three. Three. That's not bad. Could have been worse. Yeah, yeah that's that's right at the odds, though. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that grand battery is doing some damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now they've got a decision to make, too. However, uh, Valker, you will pay one... Ron will pay one. Achilles oh, will and pay one. I need to one. pay one. Yes, and we now say, hey, Austrians, you want to go? I would love to. All right, Crown, what do you want to do? I'm going to bombard. OJ, what do you want to do? Bombard. Joe, what do you want to do? I smack those, uh, that battery in the face. <laughs> Try it. <anyway. laughs> uh, uh, so what do you want to have happen there, Crown? Um... Let's bombard first, and then we'll have Joe go, try and smack those guys in the face. All right. So, start with OJ, I guess, on the right. Uh, counter battery again on the these two units. All right, so you want to start with this gun here, yeah? Yeah, yeah whichever. It's fine. All right, so that's uh, four for six on the guy that's on fire. Oh, that was four for four. Four for four. four. I, looked at yeah. a six. I looked at a six for a different one. Okay. Point. I'll say, wait, they got closer. Three hits. Mm -hmm. All right. And four for four again. Two. Chrono, mm -hmm. what you got? Um, we're going to reach out and touch those guys. Mm -hmm. Four for five, it's light guns. Yeah. A single hit. Uh, this horse gun. I have this choice here to make. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit the, that front gun and then go bowling down the uh, <laughs> guard lane. The guard lane again. Mm -hmm. So basically like that. Yeah, I'd say. Yes, that's what. How many for five? Let me check the range. Let's see. Yeah, yeah right. I've got I've got the length of the Bible. Um, is, that, is the do both horses? Do, I'm just curious. Do they both get that range? Yeah, I, all I artillery. Have, is the same. All thought, artillery. All artillery is basically the same range. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I suppose he figures it out in terms of the uh, the firepower, which is less. All right. That means we got uh, three for fours. This first guy. Three oh. hits. Ow. Then three for six. Nothing. Nothing. Three for six. Nothing. Nothing. Three for six. Nothing. Nothing. Not as effective. No bounce for you. Okay. Then my brigade battery. Could do that. Could do that. That's two versus... Yeah, let's go this way. Four, yeah. Yep. Four for four. four. For, let me check, double check the range, because it's nice. I think I have... Yeah, I'm good. You have plenty of range. Yep, four for four. Three hits. Ooh. Mm -hmm. First cavalry unit. Nope. No. Second. Nope. No bounces so far for either for either side. <laughs> there we go. Got one. Mm -hmm. Tied one in the very back. Yeah. That guy's wondering why he's so lucky. All right. That's all our bombarding. All right, OJ, let's see what we can get to stick. Um, one for six. Oh, three for six. Three! Three, I say. Nine. 
Got the kill. Got him. Oh, shoot. Hey, Joe? Question yeah. for you. Were you mind holding off on that? For Hold, Holding off and, on the attack? Yeah, because the bombard won't trigger an interrupt. And then if we both go in and do an attack together, then we can worry about the interrupt. Sure, I can, I can switch to a bombard. I just won't be able to bombard with this gun. That's you true. You can pass. You can, always, you, you can always pass. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can always bombard later with it if it's free. Oh. If they come up, you want to save that vol artillery here for a volley anyway. Yeah. Two for six. All right. Oh, over here. Both oh, missed. That was OJ. Yeah, that's oh, okay. I got one battery off the field. Creep it over this way. These guys in the front, one for four. Or are they five? Five. five. Yeah, Six, eight. anyway. First hit. It's an interesting one. Six for six. Come on. Nothing. Ugh. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I uh, got a gun away, but nothing in the center. Sausages. There's, there's one up here. Oh, Ooh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Way in the one back. For one for five. One for five. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Like yeah, I say, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll pass. All right. Okay. That uh, everybody, please, who had something to do, pay your point. Mm -hmm. Got it. And now, OJ, what you doing this turn? Ah. Uh... Activation. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try to rally, third brigade. All right, you'll rally. Uh, Chrono, what are you gonna do? I am doing a movement. And what are you gonna do, Joe? Uh, so I guess uh, a, an attack is a movement. It yes. Is. Yeah. yeah. Movement. All right. So who's first, Chrono? Um. You got two attacks. Start... You got two attacks let's... and a rally. Let's start with the rally. All right, rally it is. Who are you rallying? My first, uh, first, dragoons. first dragoons, one for three. Yeah. Got it. They scoff at their artillery fire. <laughs> yeah, they've been, they've been, they're not too nuts about standing still like that, but they're, they're taking it well. All right. Now you got some okay. moves. Bonk. Uphill? I say so. I mean, I'm not entirely on the hill. So yeah. yeah. Man, th both of these are going to be uphill charges. Yep. Uphill. There we go. I guess like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which one do you want to resolve first? Um, they take a chance to withdraw if they want. Oh, yeah. The, uh, Velker, do you want to you want to run that gun back? The answer with that is, is that if you succeed, there's, it, the only question is, do you want it to stand there? If, you, if it runs away and fails, there's no negative effect. Okay. If it runs away, it goes off the field and is available to you, possibly as a reinforcement next turn and going on. All right, and if it stands, it just gets... If it stands, it just fights. Um, it's got a... Uh, strength of two versus... Yeah, versus three. a strength... No, he's going to be at a... He's going to be at a two... Or do you get an upshift? Uh, I think he gets an upshift because he is... Yeah, he gets defending uh, a strong position. So yep, it's... Yep, because he's uphill. Yep. Yeah, so you're going to get a three... It's going to be... That'll be a straight up three to three. Hmm. But, and this is key, and don't don't ignore this... Um, so it's kills uh, no, it's more than that. Where's the, where's the rule? On, is am I confusing it again? I feel like there is something for are to, batteries that if, you, that if you just that batteries automat that are their auto breaks if they're merely defeated. That's what I thought. Um, it's certainly not in the QRS. That could very well be. Come on. Resolving. I don't see it. I thought there was something about that. Yeah. But... 
is tied or outscored all its attackers. It, it, no, a defending cavalry unit that is outscored staggers. No, apparently not. It's no? a the, no. It's a very low, very few hits. So if they get yeah, outscored, you just don't, yeah, that's what it is. You just don't have many hits. But uh, I think it, I, go ahead. even that doesn't matter because the it, it's either going to be outscored by three or more, or he's outscored by one or two. In which case, he's going to bounce that horse. Right, but even that will uh, that'll that'll uh, stagger him. Yeah. So it's up to you. You want to try to run away, or you're going to stand there and fight. What do you guys think? I don't know. Dalinar, what do you think? Well, if you lose it, you get stuck. Yeah, three to three. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? Try to run away. I'd actually would try to run away. And then if it doesn't work, then you stay and you fight. It's still three to three. Fair enough. It right. could. I shall try to now, evade. What's this? <clears throat> I was just gonna say now if the if the cavalry wins, mm -hmm. they get a huzzah. Right? Oh, if they wipe them out entirely, yeah, it, it, it's yeah. yeah, they'd have okay. to wipe them out, which is not statistically likely. Okay, because it's plus even, they it's down even, to two at that point, unless they use a huzzah marker to negate the loss. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking they might be able to take that gun if they won, and then hit the other one. In theory, yeah, but it would not yeah. probably not go well. So you are attempting okay. to run away. Yes. That is a foot gun. You're being attacked. Now he's going to roll two dice. You're going to roll one die. Whoever rolls the highest determines whether or not he gets to run away. Defender wins on ties. Yes. So Joe, you roll two. Got to you got to beat a fight. You get five or six. He, he gets it. it. So it stays. All right. So now we fight three to three. Roll one die or one die. Oh, one die. One die. Three to three. Seven. Six, Velker wins. Uh, Resolve the defender. He is tied or greater. No effect. Resolve the attacker. Uh, defending cavalry outscored. You nope. know, still engaged. Yes, he takes a disruption and staggers. Nice. And, yeah, what, is what, and what are the effects of those? That uh, means you, just... you lost a strength point. Okay. And you drop back one inch. Okay. Which is less good. <laughs> Which is less good, you're right. Okay. All right, we hustle over here. Ooh. Ah, this is a uh, five to a one, I think. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> five to one. Uh, seven. Seven. To two. Oh, that's, that's a kill. A kill. <laughs> yep. That's rough. And a huzzah marker. Do you wish to take that, or do you want to take you want you want a huzzah marker, or do you want the uh, disruption? I'll take my. I will take my. I'll take my huzzah marker. That's not going to be in range. You're not going to hit that gun. Hit. How are you going to get that's past hard. this guy? We covered this before, though. Oh, that's you right. You can do it. Yeah, but hang on, though. You can't charge. You can't charge through the trees, right? So you can't. Oh no, 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 no. That's right. This is this is the one rule I find stupid. That's right. That's right. Uh, I mean, that it'll yeah. make you feel better. I'll take the I'll take the strength point. No, no, no. <laughs> I, it's not your fault. I, I I just have no comfort in that rule. Uh, I, I you know what what. Obviously, the rule maker wants to say is, "Don't let this happen." You know. So you are taking the disruption. Yes, I'm taking the disruption, and we'll accept my huzzah marker. Mm -hmm. I hate that rule so much. I blocked it out. <laughs> it came up last time we played this game. Too. I know. That's that's how much I hate that rule. Um. All right, cool. I can see big in this situation, just because the cavalry is high, the infantry is high. No, no, tree no, it's nonsense. Good, utter nonsense. Don't defend it. I accept it. I will. No, it's <laughs> utter nonsense. Don't don't say something that's stupid. I think much more of you than that. 
In fact, fact, it's the fact the that thought. these, I don't the fact that these the... guys, these grenadiers <laughs> are doing absolutely nothing as these guys go drifting in front. But if you move within for, forest base with some of them, you must stop and deal with them. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Rubbish. <laughs> he he hates that rule so much, Chrono, that he's been thinking we've been playing blooker all night. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Maybe it's supposed to be a momentum thing. No, it's a know? simplicity thing. That's what it is. He made a he he made a simplicity decision to keep it cleaner. And in a game that he does that so much, and I praise him so much, it's the only thing I don't like. So that's that's pretty darn good by most rule standards. Uh, but that all that having been said, that is a clear source of an interruption. So uh, first of all, French pay your or allies pay your stuff. That's two for this. And that's uh, two for this. Got it. And uh, OJ, you rallied, so that's a mere one. Yep, got it. And so, French, you're at the bat. What do you want to do, Velker? Um, Other than shoot again, which you can't do, I guess. Could I do a Uh, Good question. Yes, you could. Ouch. Why is that strength four? Which one, him? Yeah. Because he took a... You take a casualty in combat. He was at three. He was? Oh, yeah, he was. Is that yeah. at three or four? No, he was at three. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, he was at he was at four. He came up the hill. Yeah, he was at four. He, he took was two at four, hits. Which drops him to three. Yeah, and he took two. Yeah, he needs to be down one. Wait. He was, at, he was at four... Yeah, he was at four, which brought it to three, three. They each had three to roll, yeah. so he should be down. He took two, yeah. yeah. I don't know where that came from. He went up. Oh, that rule made me so upset. I'm typing wrong. <laughs> so I'd be rolling eight dice for two hits. <laughs> if you were to bombard. Do you guys? Do you guys want to avoid an interrupt? In which case, I'll do that's something. not an inter. Oh, it's a volley. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Maybe do it later. Yeah. Well, what you want to do, what you want to do, uh, Ron? Yeah. yeah, can we wait for that? Yes. Okay. All right. So, Valkyrie, do you have something you want to do, or do you want to pass? Um, I'm going to pass for now. He passes, Chrono. Or F Chrono, Dalinar. What you doing? <laughs> bombard. Okay, there'll be a bomb bombard over here. What you doing, Achilles? Uh, Ron, I take it you want us to avoid interruption. At this point in time, yeah. Okay. Um. Then I will pass. All right. Looks like it's just you on a bombard. That shot again. Mm -hmm. Do do do. Three for four. Ah, dang it! I did four. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it does. I hit one. Yeah, it does. Ah. <laughs> Worked out the same. Fates are, fates yeah. are that way. Three for six. Oh. <laughs> One for four at the front. Yep. Nicked him. I ain't doing anything to you. What are you doing? Ping. And then these guys back down this way. Ah, uh, down the pipe. That field artillery is a four. Four for four at the front. Nothing. Four <laughs> Just for, two yachts. Four for six at the back. Just... Now I get four sixes. No. Mm. Wow. wow. That, that, all right. Yeah, that was not a good bombard to be sure. No. And now? <laughs> so that uh, is one point. I know you're taking it. So now, uh, Ron, what do you want to do? All right, guys, now you can do the interrupt. Yay! Interrupt you things? Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Velker, what are you, you're going to uh, volley? Yep. All right. What are you going to do, Achilles? Move. And what are you going to do, Ron? Move. Uh, so the moves go first. Hit them. Whatever you want to do. Do you want us to go one at a time? or? Well, if you're going into melee, yeah. 
just so we can see it. Oh, Actually, I, I don't think I can go into melee because I have to stop. Yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't know if you were out of range or not. I just didn't know. Yeah, I'm just barely, but right. I am. So then you're not, so away with you then. Move all you like. Just remember, as, as has been pointed out, you got uh, you got a single base width there. Two. You got one. <laughs> Oops. Here they come. Okay. What you doing, Ren? Oh, boy. Uh, hmm. Achilles, you done moving? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. That's and not that what cost I... me two, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, just one. Just oh, one. I, I moved. Oh, it doesn't cost me an extra one for moving into the... Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. That is not a complication. Very good. It's about to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of cavalry. Oh, they're they're loaded with cavalry. Yeah, I have relatively little cavalry in my force. But... Yeah, me too. Hey, OJ only brought one. <laughs> got two. Yeah, I, got two. I, I, I didn't have too many points to play with, though. Vel Velcor brought the guard. For the record, though, I, I'm taking no pity on you. I mean, you bought... You bought three units of grenadiers, Mike. <laughs> don't 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 even come near me with that. Meanwhile, I'm over here with a bunch of conscripts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. It's like that's there's a reason Velker's got about six units. <laughs> Excuse me, I have. What's a life got? <laughs> oh no, I got it. Well, well, yeah. twice as many as well, you also yeah. got that. Ten. He's got twelve. I've only got ten. Yeah, but he also got the 15% bonus because he's the attacker. Oh, that's true. Everybody done moving? Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we just got the one thing to do then. We got a volley shot. Eight dice for fours. No rerolls on this one. Four. Four. Oof. Four for fives. Finish the deed or no. Ooh. Well, time to time to not attack that battery time head on. Apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if we got if he got initiative, that would have worked out a lot better. Yeah, but, I think those Englishmen are beginning to wonder what they're doing in Germany too. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're all that hard work, but gave you strong arm muscles to roll dice well today. There Thank you your go. mother. <laughs> so the uh, British. Are... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say uh, that's one point each. For each of the allies, and that's an interrupt you were saying, Joe. I was just going to make a joke. I was going to say they wonder if Nelson is still at the dock. That's <laughs> <laughs> all. So. The, uh... Um... Uh, I will choose to interrupt. I figured. And what you want to do. Like, I would like to... I would like to move. You're going to move. What are you going to do, OJ? I'm going to do nothing right at the moment. How about you, Joe? I'm going to bombard. I'm going to bombard. Oh, look at you. Yeah, yeah. So there's moving and bombarding, which which will happen, Chrono. I will I will let the bombard go forward. Away with your bombarding, sir. Where will it be? Yeah. No, let's see. It's I can take this cuirasse or I can hit that cannon. I'm so trying to shoot the gun. I mean, Need to hit, you need to land two hits on him and stick him, but the you have to roll sixes to make him stick. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, 
We'll do some I, counter. Oh, I'm not well, sure you can quite hit the curiosity anymore. Yeah, anyway, not, they're out of range. Not that. These curiosity, yeah, I could. Oh, they're nope, behind the. They're, they're behind on the, the other side of the hill. Oh, they're hill. Yeah. Nope. The gun. Right. Then. Yeah, we're not gonna bombard with these two. We're gonna wait until they come in. All right. Well, so you're gonna bombard here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. That's uh, three dice for fours. Uh, one. Gotta see you can make it stick. And is that the only one you're going to be firing at this point? It is. Okay. Uh, one die for yep. six. Come on, six. Oh, no. close. You have very flexible definition of close. The, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. The, uh, it's all right. Moving is happening. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. It's going to be a hot time in the old town tonight. Love it. Look at Krana with proper checkerboards and everything. Love it. Gotta be proper. Natch. Yeah. It's as if he's preparing to, pr to deploy them into line. No, well, maybe not lying at this point. At this point, but I didn't say right now. <laughs> Keep them behind the crest of that hill for now. Dig it. And we'll move them up. And these are not my favorite hills. I prefer the ones my wife draws, but I will say that these have very clear crests, which is to their credit. Yeah, I like I like the other ones too. So that is my one momentum of movement. All right. So it's one for you. A bombard cost one for you, Joe. Uh, OJ spent nothing, uh, and I assume Chrono, you avoided being within range of the enemy. I did. Very good. Uh, so you're up again, OJ. What would you like to do this activation, if anything? Drinking wine again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Close that Pringles can and start playing the game. <laughs> Close like. your damn Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> I could have somebody model us a Pringles can. Mike? I'm uh, sorry. What's that? You doing anything? Uh, No, not right this minute. How you you, you got to quit taking those inter-turn naps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what you got? On pass. All right, Chrono, it's you. Uh, I think I'm going to spend two, put me down to one, Most and fun. react and activate the user uh, cavalry and do the thing the team hates. <sighs> I think we're all hating it right now. <laughs> I think I think you it's can't great. do it. You're in the forest. Uh, uh, what forest? Oh, there's, yeah, can't do it. Trees, ah! yeah. uh -huh. In that case, I wait a minute. What like, was what were I you doing that earlier? Jim, what were you doing with Jim Hates? I, I, it is a clear rule, and I have no doubt I was wrong. I have been corrected. It is allowed in LaSalle for him to pivot and run right across and hit you here. If the trees were not right there, were the trees not there? He can Pingle's ignore. Not he can ignore the eleventh Grand Nigadiers. Really, I didn't think we're. Uh... I, I, if you go to the, the the Sam Mustafa forum, I posted a picture to that effect. So basically, they don't have a zone of control right here. It, they, they do, do but you're already inside it. But once you're inside it, you can mess around. <laughs> if you're charging. Oh. Anyway. Yep. Once, once you're this. inside it. They forget how to shoot. I'll just do this instead <laughs> and withdraw. Having yeah. having a uh, successfully uh, done what we came to do, <laughs> <laughs> punching out a unit. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, that will still cost me too. Yeah, but... that is too because you got the fuzz there. Yeah. Uh, okay, but that was movement near the enemy, uh, which takes us over to the French. Will you interrupt Napoleon? Yes. Valker, you can do anything. Um, I, I, yeah, I will move, move 
You wish to move? Okay. And what are you going to do, Dalinar? Move. And what are you going to do, Achilles? Uh, Ron, should I avoid anything that does an interruption? Yes, just avoid everything. Just avoid everything? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, at least this turn. Okay. Uh, uh, let's... Hold on. Felker, are you are you going to be able to, too, or no? If that, yeah, is that too hard? To yeah, but the problem is these guys are in this town. I'm not going to make it very far, but I'm going to be available when the time comes. Oh, okay. So you're going to stay outside. So he appears to okay. be indicating he's staying out. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. So avoid in, uh, avoid intervention. Yeah, if you would, please. Yes, if okay, you would, please. Okay, so uh, I will move. Intervention? Why? There's someone having problems yeah. over here? Well, apparently Mike is, but... <laughs> well, we want to intercede with Mike, but... <laughs> Yay! Hez is going to make a Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> the inside jokes continue. <laughs> Two oh, years later, Lord. someone new is going to show up and be like, what's the Pringles can? Or like, yeah, long story. The hell is that Pringles? <laughs> long had to be there. It's a long, depressing story. <laughs> you, so, you'll have to go back and watch so the old videos. Slowly goes down. Yeah, oh, there you go. It's got to have like three stages. Yeah, it's got to have those states so that every turn it doesn't move, it goes down a level. The wine, <laughs> Ron, just think Walmart, any state you want, Pringles can filled with wine. Were you there not you here go. for this? Golf cart. No, no, this was Ron this missed more than he's been here. This was a Florida man like, story. The image of somebody sit rolling around Florida a Florida woman. Florida, Florida woman, woman walking around mm -hmm. a parking lot in her underwear, drinking wine out of a Pringles can. <laughs> I like Jim's version better. It, oh my God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> she was no. She was driving. She was arrested driving a golf cart oh, while right. drinking wine out of a Pringles can while driving around in a Walmart parking lot. Yep, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Oh, uh, All right. So uh, that's so it's move for Velker. Move for Achilles and for you, Dominar. Zim move. All right, move. So, gentlemen, you're on then. All moves happen at the same time. Can I go too? Y yes, sir. You yes, said man. gentlemen, so oh, I want to make sure I was good in. Good point. Gentlemen and Ron. <laughs> and Ron. <laughs> and Mr. Wentworth. <laughs> and oh, holy okay. Wow, I haven't been called that in a while. <laughs> His sixth grade teacher. Should I wait for him to finish before I do? No, anything? go right ahead. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> McGuire is standing up for the Pringles can. Of course you are. <laughs> You're a degenerate. <laughs> McGuire is probably drinking out of one right now. He's like, what's, what's, <laughs> he's hiding it behind him. Would that be wrong? <laughs> I don't understand. So What's I the guess problem? they got away from the paper bags into Pringles cans. Yeah, yeah. Apparently. Oh crap, I can't seem to get that all burp. Yeah. No. It's not letting me do it. Alright. Well, we'll just do one. Well, y'all know what I'm going to say. LaSalle makes a pretty table, and it does. So, Velker, you've made your move? I have. It was Gerard? Okay. And, Ron, are you done? Yes, sir. Achilles? And one second. All right, I see Achilles. Okay. I, I, I see Achilles costing two because he had to you know, yep. penetrate. Um, Velker, you were just one. Ron, were you one or two? I was too excited to get these guys out of the woods. All right. As that was so, you've paid your points. Anybody get close enough Are to you? the enemy? I think you were assiduously avoiding it. Correct. All right. So what are you doing now, Velker? Uh, once again, I must ask, are we avoiding interruptions? No, go ahead. Right. What, what do you want to do? I'm moving. Wait, then. What are you doing, Ron? Moving. What you doing, Achilles? <clears throat> we are avoiding interruption. No, again, no, you're not. Not okay. Not. Um, 
Then I want to volunteer. I repeat not, Tinker. I repeat not. <laughs> you are, weapons are free. Weapons are we- free. Weapons are free. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you've got one request to volley, and you've got two moves. Who's first, Ron? Uh, let's do our moves first. Moves, Velker. Remember, you cannot fire from a river. Yes, Sam has to stay about rivers and gunpowder. Trying to avoid getting run over by the cavalry, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, where's canister for the gun? I'm going to avoid that, too. You're inside it? (laughs) Yeah, it's too late. It's four. So you're actually outside for. <laughs> yeah. So you did not trigger an interrupt. Stand, they're going to stand one inch, <laughs> one actual yeah. inch. Oddly enough, outside. they knew they knew where that canister was. <laughs> That's right. And then they're going to thumb their nose at him. See? And you're uh, yeah. you're uh, within three. You're within uh, range of these guys, Velkers. So you got to slow down. Oh, how far do I go? Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. I I think he he he's got to push you to four. So you're only going to get one. Or sorry, yeah, two. Four, four, You're only going right to get there. two. That's it. Chrono, is it one base width or is it two inch? Is it two? Uh, for which for what kind movement of in the, movement in the face of the enemy? Infantry, it's one. Okay, so you got to go back two. You got to go back one base width, Falker. They are coming. Yeah. I'm barely. He can't charge through that muck. Uh, that is not a woods or a town. What is it? It's a marsh. A swamp? Oh, marsh. Oh. Marsh, I think, is <laughs> yeah, right. I think yeah. we can't turn to marsh either. Yeah. It just says rough terrain, so... No, but that's marsh. I mean, it's the uh, <laughs> mouth of the... Or the end of the little stream here. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. All right, so, Ron, you said you had movement? Done. All right. Achilles, you said you wanted to shoot at somebody. Who's that? Uh, these guys over here want to shoot. They within Can he four? do that though? If he, they he are. Just, he yeah. just moved though. Doesn't that trigger an interrupt first? They moved prior to all of this. Yeah. And you did do the interrupt. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they moved. Yeah. So these are straight yeah, ahead. Second, no these are straight ahead. second headers. brigade that I just moved. Yeah. So these <clears> are straight ahead headers. So that's uh, two dice for fours. Yep. On these boys right there. Okay. Two dice for fours? Mm-hmm. Not a oh. one. That's yeah, and that's going to be... Uh, you got range? You got range? Should be. Yep. Two dice for fives. I got, got one. Hit. See if you can stick it. That's one die for four. And you don't. No. All right, so that was the volley. That was the move. We got Nomiles out of the deal. Uh, Achilles, that's one point. Dalinar, you said, I don't know, was that one or two? Two, I'm done. Yeah. And Velker, that was two for you as well. Because you moved through some marsh. Uh, back over to the Austrians, who I presume wish to interrupt. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Just in. Yep. Fortunately, you only get one base to shoot him, but so I think these guys are out of range. Yeah, it's just these one guys out here in the end who can just nick them, mm-hmm. and they're out of range of the gun. So these guys have moved already, right? You might as well bombard then. So they're not going to get closer at this point. I agree. If you bombard, it will not bounce. If you bombard that way. Yeah, if you bombard the aim of that guy, won't bounce. See him at this guy in the back, it will. But if you go that way. Or if you just get the guy straight ahead. Or you could... So we got a bombard from Joe. What's you doing, yep. Chrono? 
Uh, I'm going to rally, I think. Oh, rally? What you doing, Mike? I... Keep going to volley. Volley, rally, bombard. Who goes, Grano? Um, Let's do the bombardment first. Bombardment. Who's bombarding? I'd like to do this gun here to... Legit. The curatier. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's three for four on the front. Come on. Two? Yeah. Two. I'll and take three it. for six on the back. One. Yay. Other bombardment? What you got? Could go uh, that way. Could go that way. Could go that way. Actually, and then they could go this way. And they could go this <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you like? Uh, I like this way. Okay. Three for four at the front. Two. Ooh, nasty. Made a blo made a wasted some sixes there. We'll see. Three for six in the back. One. one. I had one left. Yes, you did. <laughs> that it? All right, let's check them. Uh, this guy in the front here, that's two for fives. <coughs> Nothing. Nothing. One for five. Nothing. Uh, these lovely, lovely Lancers, two for five. Oof. Oh, and the, the Empress Dragoons, one for five. Nope. Not Nothing. Not oh. Now you know how I felt on my bombard. Not a hit. I will hand it over to uh, Mike for his volley. What you got, Mike? Use three. Uh... Mm -hmm. These two boys these here two. can shoot there, but they're on a downshift because they're getting hit with skirmishers. Yep. Uh, so they're rolling two, four, fives. Nothing. And this guy over here is going one for four. Nothing. No shot. What you got, Chrono? That's one point for you, and that is one point for Joe. What yep, you got, Chrono? I am I'm rallying the Hussars. Those guys in the weeds? There they are. Yep. Well, you know, yeah. I, I, two for three. Are you within range? I don't think you are. I'm both. Oh, look at you, stellar. They feel very saucy with themselves. <laughs> well, it's their hats, really. Yes. And they're dolmens. <laughs> they're dolmens. Yeah. It's the hat. <laughs> it is. Uh, that was a volley, though, which flips it back over to the French. Do you wish to interrupt? Uh, Yeah, sure, why not? What you going to do, Achilles? Got anything? Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Are these guys allowed to charge now? Did they move this turn? I, I think Boy, they did. This yes, turn was did. so long, I can't yeah, remember. They, these guys moved. <laughs> yes. they not, they, okay. You can only move once a turn. Yeah, they're... they're. Gotcha. Okay, then we'll be move. You'll have a move. How about you, Ron? Formation chain. How about you, how about you Valker? I'll pass. Pass. So which one do you want, Ron? I'm going to do my formation chain quick and easy. Quick and easy. Where is it? I don't even know. Oh, very good. All right, he's done that. Uh, you might as well go, Achilles. Okay. Um, can you give me four from that battery up there, Mike? Yeah, one sec. I got it, Mike. Yep.
Those guys, were they in range? They were when we started. They were within four bases? <laughs> that's an aw- I'm just saying that's an awful long distance. They were right over here? Yeah. These guys came from, like, here. Got it. Cool. Proceed. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to pay two because I'm going to be doing mm-hmm. interpenetration. Yes, you are. Do you have two to give? I do. Okay. Actually. So none of this is in the face of the enemy while he's figuring that out. Ron, you got anything else? No, I'm at him. Uh, That's where they want to go. Velker, you got anything else? I'll pass. Yeah. Okay, Achilles, you going to have anything else? No, sir. That's a triple pass. Austrians? Um, do you guys have anything you want to do? <clears throat> I'm out, so it's up to you guys. Well. I mean, I've got momentum left. But I don't got much to do. I don't think I was a four of anybody. All right. Could maneuver a little bit, maybe, but I mean maneuver. I'm gonna do yeah. movement. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, Mike's actually going. What? <gasps> I'm gonna let's listen, let's, let's watch this. Media. Refill the Pringles can. Oh my god, it's actually <laughs> moving up. <laughs> the Pringles double can check. is full double again. Check. <laughs> Do- double check the uh, distance from that cav unit. I'm pretty sure that's more than four, but just double check. You're welcome, Mike. All right. Anybody else? Oh, Joe, do you see it? Oh, no. I lost Joe again. Joe, come back. And I took my (laughs) movement point off. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you have a mini crash or something? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to try and jump back in. Because we're right at the point where I think we're ending the turn, right? Yeah, yes, pretty close. Sir. I think so. Yeah, well, I was so, going to try and... What's Go that? Well, it's... I said I was... Go it's, ahead. It's a big battle, and... Uh... We knew it was going to take a few minutes. Plus, it took us a while to get set up, but we still made it. We still hey. made it through two big turns. Yeah, I, I still got a couple mo points left if I wanted to do something. So. Yeah. Do you, okay. Do you want to do something, Mike? I think just like I'm typing Chrono a message oh, sure. in the team. You still some mo too, Joe. So if you want to do something, well, with let's it. don't do anything, Mike, till we hear from Joe because if you're going to wait, yeah, well, yeah. Joe still has to either pass or. Well, you know what? We're going to call Joe a pass right now. It won't lose it, Mike. You might as well go. Okay, so that's fine. I just typed it to Chrono. You won't. You won't lose the initiative. To... Or... See who I was talking about, Chrono. Yeah. One second. Yep. That's my thought. Yeah, no, I'm good with that. Um, then I'll just do another movement. Then if uh, Joe doesn't, yeah, go right ahead. Else. He's you're not, you know, it doesn't conflict with him. Yeah, Uh-oh. and I'm. If you guys can hear me. I think I'm gonna pass. I'm, I'm outside the four inch there, right? Yeah, you're good. The four bit. Right yeah, you're basically right on it. Well, mm-hmm. almost. You're like at four point two. Yeah. Is, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want to be in it. So. Sure. Sure you do. You gotta be in it to win it. You gotta be in it to win it. <laughs> that it then? We good? We're good. Anybody disagree? Cool. I'm good. I'm, coming I'm here. okay. You're sleeping. Yeah, no. Don't lie. You tired. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad Ron could be here. I'm glad you all could be here. The only guys who are not glad that you could be here are the 33rd foot. Um... No kidding. <laughs> those guys, those guys wish they were not here. Everybody else had a wonderful time. I mean, the tenth grade years had a bad time too. So, uh, must be fair. 
There was a reserve artillery battery that didn't like the. Yeah, you know, you know, though, getting run over by horse, that's to be expected. Being in a town and having your head blown off by three batteries of guns, that is not expected. I, uh, although it is certainly the case that the 10th Grenadiers had the very bad, not good day. Uh, here we go. Got to save this at turn three. Come on now. Behave yourself, system. Awesome. Well, there it is. We kicked off our club game, which was the goal. Um, let's remind everyone that the goal of the game is whoever has the mo either whoever breaks the other's morale by turn 10, which is one third of total units. And I think both sides have just lost one, right? Um, oh, they've we, have lost we have gun batteries gone too, don't we? Yeah, we French have lost a gun battery and an infantry battalion. We've lost a cavalry battalion and an infantry battalion. Okay, so that all... That Even all, Stevens. Yeah, that all is there. Although, I, does artillery count? I don't think it does. I can't remember it counts. I yeah, think it counts. I, 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 think it's, I think it's one of these wicked things where it... Where the, oh, where, yeah, the loss counts, but you don't get to include it in your total number of units, if I recall correctly, but I'll have to Let check. Let me check page 94 for sudden death page victory. 94. So we've traded a knight and a pawn for a rook. Yeah, that's a... kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, units, the infantry, cavalry, and artillery in your order of battle count toward your total number of units. Ah, but only broken not. units count toward sudden death. Right, yeah. so if you retire a unit off the table for whatever reason, then it is not broken. Right. Or it does not count. Right, right, right. Like for example, if you, if for example if you were t if you retreat a battery off the table to evade and then you roll terribly to get them back, they don't count as broken. They're just not on the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. So yeah, you're right. Even Stevens. Um, there it is. So uh, what are we doing? Well, obviously, well we got to figure it out because now Daniel Moreno cannot be here next Wednesday. He's going to Historicon. Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> which is which Man. is an awesome thing. He's going to play Shaco. Till heck won't have it. I'm sure he's going to play a lot of other wonderful games too. Have to tell us all about them. I think we're still going to play Shaco anyway, just because everybody likes to play Wednesday Shaco. We'll be back here for Thursday. On Saturday, it's Judgment Day for day one of the 1815 campaign. So a whole lot of stuff coming up. Um, and a lot of stuff going on on this table too. So thanks for the players. Thanks for those who viewed. You know, we appreciate you. And until we meet again, please. Take care of yourselves and one another. We, what, Daniel? Oh, okay. Now, see, he jumped online because I was saying stuff about him. <laughs> I, I was saying, Daniel, that I am sad you are not going to be with us on Wednesday because I thought we were going to play some Shaco together. But we'll, we'll still play, and hopefully you can join us the week after that, and hopefully you can play a lot of cool Shaco with the New Jersey boys out there in at Historicon in uh, Lancaster. Travel safe. That's right, the Jersey boys. Go back right. and check the tape, Daniel. That's not what he said about you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're right. You're right. I, you're, you're, you're not lying. You're not lying. You, you, you have to watch the whole thing, though, because it's interspersed all throughout the thing. That's, That's true. Right. It's regular and, to understand, and you have to understand what the Pringles can means. There it is. <laughs> but uh, thanks, to, ah, thanks to everybody who watched. Thanks to everybody who played. We will talk soon. In the meanwhile, please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll see you. Pause. 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 Good night, Dean Jackson. <laughs>